Okay. And we're on. Okay. So we can give it a minute or two, or a second or two. Faux show. Coffee. Every day, all day. I'm going to get my drink. Knocking back some cold ones. Mm. All right, looks like we've got a couple of people Good. joining us. What's up, you ornery asses? Everybody hear us? We're checking. Check, check. Oh, show. Freeze frame. Looks like our connection is good. What's up? Randy Jackson. Hello, Randy. Good. You can hear us. All right. Hey, hey, Twisted Frank. Twister Frank. Twister. I like it. All right. All right. Good to see you guys. So I'm going to take it that you guys can hear us okay. We're actually in our in our living room this time instead of out in the shop. So it's a little bit different. Um, so, yeah, just want to make sure that you guys can hear us. And John Fisher, good to see you. Boom, 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 boom. Good. And today is Valentine's Day, so I'm super glad that you guys are joining us because, you know. You could be on a hot date. Yeah. Nobody wants to do that. Looking they for a good to, time. They want to be with us. I am on a date. On the interwebs. This is a live date. Yeah. What are you doing later? Um, hopefully dinner. <laughs> okay. All right. So it looks like everyone's chiming in. Happy there Valentine's Day to you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Yes. Did anyone do anything special today? <laughs> Today's not over, though. So, you know. No hot date for saddle trap, tramp. Saddle tramp. Yeah, John, actually the tattoos, you want to talk about your tattoo? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's healing like super Yeah, good. absolutely. So I have to think which side it's on here. Everything's ass backwards on the camera here. So my uh, noggin's healing up. Well, it is healed. It's totally yeah. healed. There's, you can tell it's, I'm good to go. It's yeah. over. We try and keep it, you know, shaved, but with it being, you know, in that process still of healing and stuff like that, we haven't shaved it, but. Yeah, I didn't yeah. take, I haven't took a bath in a week. It's a joke. I take one every three days. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I take a, I take a shower quite often. because I get He takes stinky. a shower more than I do. Yeah, I get a little stinky right up in here. I get a little lazy. Yeah. Um. Writing Hope, you said you've been married too long for that crap. <laughs> How long have you been married? <clears throat> oh, that's cool. Gilbert, you said that you took the grandkids to go see Dr. Doolittle and oh. eat pizza. That's fun. Oh, man, that's yeah. good stuff right there. That's where it is. 15 years. Whoa. It's a good little stretch. Good for Congratulations. you. Congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah. Super cool. Okay, so... Um, are you guys going to Laughlin April 23rd to the river one? Mm. You want to take this? <clears throat> I don't think we're going to make it to Laughlin. Um, but saying that things could change. Uh, of course we were there last year. Um, Laughlin river run for us has changed a little bit. It was the first time Steph had been out. Actually the second time that I've been out. So when I say it's changed, it's not that I really know what the hell I'm talking about, but things that I've seen in the past and I've looked up, it's changed a little bit. Um, it's uh, super cool over there. Uh, the thing, if we don't make it out there, I'll miss all of our buddies out there. Um, there's some uh, legit, really good friends of ours out there. Um, class clowns. The yes. class clowns will know who I'm talking about. Um, one of my... One of our good buddies, Casey Mulligan, um, met him a couple years ago. We're going to miss him. And there's a ton of other ones out there as well uh, that we'll miss. And, uh, yeah, but we will be going out to Arizona Bike Week um, beginning of April, too. So we're going to be out yeah. that way. Hopefully we can see all of our West Coast friends out there. But, yeah, um, and we're thinking about doing a little bit more. 
Um, so our schedule this year is kind of based around what we really need to get to as far as custom dynamics and a few others. Oh, sorry to interrupt you. Go ahead, Rodney, you said Laughlin has been canceled. Laughlin River Run has been canceled. There's nothing on the books. We haven't well, looked into it. Um, they were. That was rumor. Yeah, we'd actually so, heard that last year, but they were selling for 2020 tickets and like um, room packages and stuff like yeah. that. But we'd also heard that there wasn't going to be another one. Right. So we had heard rumor last year through some different – medias and stuff and we had just almost decided we weren't going to go and because it was kind of up in the air so yeah. and then someone else said not true so you well, know it may it, not be we know. haven't yeah we haven't actually looked into it so don't take our word for it being because we weren't really planning on going after so we just hadn't been you know looking into it we will look yes. into that though As a matter of fact i'll look into it later yes because now i'm curious as hell because we've heard all kind of rumors yeah we have and it's actually coming up you know yeah it's soon. quick um, Smitty, it's good to see you. Hello, sir. And Chris, good to see you also. Yes, the tattoo's healing up. That's what we were just talking about. I know you just chimed in, but um, mm -hmm. yeah, yep. it's healing up. It's doing good. It is healed. I mean, I have no more. I mean, I can rub my head. There's nothing. Um, you know, Wayne, if you watched this last week, if you did watch this, you can go back and watch it. We went live there the whole time while Wayne was tattooing me. Um, he's a good buddy. Uh, he's a talent and, uh, he's just got soft hands. <laughs> he really yeah. does. He's, yeah. he's got, he's got a good knack for it. He's, he's really good at what he does. And, uh, the healing process is a week for that. I mean, it was last week and actually yesterday it wasn't nothing. It was already it didn't really scab up or anything. It had a little bit of a, you know, it has a little flake to it and a little bit of this night that come off. But um, I waited, uh, see, I had it Friday. I waited till like Sunday evening to take a shower. And then I just kind of rinsed it. I didn't use any soap um, or shampoo. And, uh, yeah, it's super filled up, super good. And uh, I'm proud of it. And I got to tell you guys, I was nervous as hell. Can you imagine getting your head tattooed going live? And I kind of spouted off like, I'm going to go live, don't you think, hon? And she's like, okay. And after I said it, I was like, oh, shit. Am I really going to do this? Because, you know, you, it's awkward in a way. But it actually made the whole experience great. I loved it. Uh, do it again. Next tattoo, it'll be her turn. And uh, I'll hold the camera on her. Uh, but I, everybody that tuned in there and chimed in, uh, I really do appreciate that. You made this really special for me and more ways than one, you know? Yeah, it was a lot of fun to be able to share that moment with everyone and like, you know, just um, the different comments and questions along the way and stuff. And it actually made like, I think it was two and a half hours or so. It actually made it go really fast. It really and was. Yeah, he did great. Like I said, we had a, a great time after that. We Went and got us something to eat, and we, we came home, which we were in Fayetteville. Mm -hmm. uh, they're right off Dixon. That's where Box Blues and Barbecue is, and uh, we're about an hour or so away. I uh, do want to just plug Wayne a little bit, Wayne the Tattooer. He's there at the Ice House, like I said, just right off Dixon. That is where Box Blues and Barbecue is, and if you're out that way at Box Blues and Barbecue this year, he'll be doing some specials. Go by and see Wayne. I'm gonna get over there with Steph and uh, maybe we maybe get a little ink while we're over there. Yeah. Uh, so we just go hang out at the tattoo parlor. Actually, that's where I met her. Was that tattoo parlor? True story. Crazy true story. Shit. Yes. Um. Let's see here. I know you guys were talking about some rooms that you guys already booked. So I'm glad to hear that Laughlin is going on. I think John, you'd said that it was actually picked up by another promoter. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So that's great. Um, I hope it does have a great comeback and it's just even better with the, with the new promoter and stuff like that. And rumors that it was, uh, you know, no longer going to happen. Um, I hope those, you know. Yeah. And I, I mean, the setting over there is crazy as hell. I mean, you cross, you know, you cross state yeah. line there, you're on the other side, it's the river. I mean, they, we got up in there uh, and had some tattooing convention going on there. The tattoo convention, that that we, we had a blast. A uh, I actually got, Ink there a couple of years ago. That's where I got the old knucklehead, no plan right there. Got it over there. Um, so there's a lot going on. And plus, 
you get out there and you can uh, run the roads over there too. And uh, took Steph down to Ottman, which is badass. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have been to Ottman. Um, it's crazy for me because it's like a Western town and Mad Max kind of combine. The road there is, I think you hit the highest point in that gap. And I don't know all the terminology here, um, the places, because I forget. But it's really cool, windy. It feels like it's, you know, 20 miles of curves. And I think the damn road is just within, the, you know, 12, 13 miles. I don't know. I can't get up. But it feels like it takes forever. It's uh, super fun. Um, and plus, when you get to the end, like I said, you're at Altman. Uh, crazy place, no doubt. That's where the donkeys, they all walk around. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. Yeah, like, and it's pretty. It's a different type of pretty from where we're from where we're at here in the Ozarks because it's um it's just it's just different for me being the first time you know going out west yeah was, that was the was first time different. so yeah and and the year before um i mean i didn't even see a crow for like two states no crows that's saying you're out of the ozarks they're out there yeah. we, we anyway yeah so um we got to get back out there honestly we we want to do a lot out there um but, you know, we're here in the Ozarks, and uh, that's where we're based out of. Um, so we're kind of in a cool location because we can go east or west. Yeah. So. Yep. Me, yeah, guys. So this. Go ahead, baby. Um, go someone ahead. else asked about Daytona Bike Week. So, yeah, we're about to get into our yeah. ride and our kickoff and stuff like that. But we had a couple of things we wanted to talk about first. Yeah. So. This, I know this, so the live stream, I'm really getting into the live stream because I have so much fun with it. And uh, the week before last, we were out here in the shop, shop and we were talking about a lot of things that we're into. Uh, and I really honed into it. And last week, like I said, we went live with the, the head tattoo. And then this week, that's all I thought about is going live this Friday. So believe it or not, I've really, Steph and I have really tried to structure this live stream about what's fixing to come up for the kickoff for us. So what we're doing different, we're in here in the living room. We live in a little tiny house. Uh, you can go look at that video too on our YouTube. Yeah. If you guys don't know, if you hadn't followed us for very long, um, we have a tiny house. So like he said, yeah, we're right here in our living room. 16 by 40 storage building that we redone. It's so our cool, living so. room is like tiny. 10 by 15. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you'll see yeah. some tin up here. This tin is actually off my grandpa's old chicken house that we tore down and we repurposed a lot of stuff out of his old barns. And, and uh, so um, I'm really getting, I'm so sorry. I'm just starting to, we're starting to ramble a little bit. But what we decided to do, set up here in the living room and we just threw the TV is up. We just, uh, we have it, uh, Apple TV. And I have it connected to my phone. So what I did, I just try to put a bunch of uh, pictures together, the map and everything of us going day to day uh, of our trip coming up. So I can mirror that to the Apple TV and I'm just going to swipe and it'll give us a visual cue to to stay on track. Um, this is not going to show really well. Can it, it kind of, you know, it, it really gets bright on you, it washes out. But you'll get the logistics of what we're doing. You'll see how we plan for a trip, and you'll actually see our map, um, and then you'll see what interests us. Like, this is going to be really cool because, like I said earlier, it has a ton of history in this trip that we're fixing to do because you've got Civil War, you've got a lot of battles, you've got ghosts, tons of haunted stuff, you have pirates, you have treasures, you have a healing springs. Uh, and I'm sure I'm forgetting out a couple more things. I mean, the forts that we're going to go to and the food. Um, so this trip is going to have a lot of stuff that uh, sparks our interest. Uh, because as you can see, I've got the man right here, the Goonies. I was raised on the Goonies as Steph was too, because all this stuff really sparks our interest. Booby traps, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so with this live stream, we structured it, trying to show you guys exactly how we plan for this trip. It's uh, how many days is it? I didn't even count. I'm not for sure. So we're planning on taking out February 21st. Um, bike week, of course, starts the 5th and, um, of course, goes through that weekend and then on through the next 
you know, that complete week with that weekend. So we're going to, of course, be in Daytona for bike week at the beginning, the first weekend, and then we're going to probably stay that weekend and then start heading back. Yeah. So we're going to leave here next Friday, which is the 21st. So with all that being said, we're just going to kind of dive into our trip right here. Uh, we're going to open it up. I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. And like I did, I'm going to start scrolling my phone right now, and it will give me my visual cue to not ramble. Right here, I want to take a minute. It does kind of wash out. I apologize, guys. We need to do a little things a little different. We're working on some stuff to actually bring stuff on the screen. We're learning. But I want to say thanks to Denny's Holy Davidson. Our bike is up there right now. We're doing some more mods to it. If you've seen anything online that we're doing right now, we've done uh, quite a bit of stuff to it. A lot of custom dynamic lighting. That bike is totally decked out with custom dynamic lighting. Uh, that's the only thing we're running because I believe that is the cream of lights. That is the cream of the crop. Uh, so we're going to be showcasing a lot of their uh, products this year. Uh, new and stuff that we run miles and miles and miles with. I want to give a big shout out to Custom Dynamics. Also, we threw a tour pack on. It's an Advan Black. We're going to be running it. We never ran with a tour pack. We don't know. Yeah, some of you guys had probably seen pictures of our last uh, one of our last posts. So yeah, we got a bunch of new custom dynamic um, lights installed and then a big surprise, you've seen a tour pack on the bike. So some people asked if we ran with it yet, how long we had it, when did we put it on? So completely brand new, nine millimeter James, thank you so much for that super chat. I appreciate that. Um, thank you, sir. Yeah, so we just threw the tour pack on. We have not rode with it. No. Um, and we're excited we, about it. Right. Uh, Brian at Denny's Harley Davidson, um, he actually, when we bought the bike, he tried to talk us into it, but we was watching pennies and everything right then. Uh, we didn't get it. And we started regretting it because we needed a lockable space. Plus, she needed a little more backrest. We're figuring out. Uh, so we've got that on there as well. Like I said, everything on that is Advan Black from the Quick Connect, the Tour Pack, the rack on top. Uh, the boys up there, uh, Chad, we, we got it all mounted, uh, ready to go. We put us a charge port in so we can charge as well. It has a liner. It has a base plate on the bottom. I'm going to go into that. I actually did a, I did some footage of us unboxing and showing it. We'll be making that video about the Advan Black Tour Pack. And it won't That'll be, be kind of cool. Yeah, and it won't be so much of an install video. It's just going to be basically like a breakdown of the products, that product the absolutely the and that's one thing I, that's a good segment there or segue into i do want to say this i am not a mechanic um i've worked on stuff here and there i'm okay once i get something and i kind of pivot around on it i kind of figure it out and it takes forever uh so we get everything done at denny's harley davidson they are our mechanics they are our people and we that is what we do and we do the best we can with the install videos working with chad the mechanic up there, the tech. And we, we do the best we can with the install. He really does it, but we do show our installs. But for Stefan, it's more about being on the road and putting the product to the test. So we are, I believe, our review on stuff. And, uh, you know, after miles and miles, uh, I think that's what we, you know, that's what our niche is and that's what we really yeah. like. And Stephen, thank you. He said that he met us in Paris for the parade and loved the content. Thank you so much. I appreciate it because this content really is <coughs> driven by what you guys want to see and in, in your opinions and what you guys suggest. So I do appreciate that because if it wasn't for you guys, we would just get on here and ramble about. Oh, shit, man. We wouldn't even be on here, honestly. I mean, it just gives us, the, you know, it's super fun. I love this part of it right here. This is my match. I love this stuff. Yeah. That's a go ahead. Doug. And Bob, welcome <coughs> to being a member. Thank hey, you man. so much for being a member. So 93 on your octane. So we have memberships. You guys may see if you're Very new to cool. this, we are fairly new to the members uh, membership feature of YouTube. So we have three different tiers, but you guys can ch <coughs> check that out and see what all it's about and all the exclusive stuff that you guys get. Yeah. So with that being said, the cool thing about what we're doing here with the community that we're building, because we are part of the community, um, you guys, if you're a member, you really get to dictate a lot of stuff that we do. We're starting to open it up more and more and more. Like we ask you what thumbnail, like she'll make a couple of different thumbnails she did last week. 
and we asked the members, what do y'all like? They picked which one. We did it. I mean, hell, I let y'all vote on my tattoo on my head and we did it. So we're really opening stuff. Yeah, we're really opening up stuff and letting you guys, because honestly, I think like all things good, we need to listen to the people that use our stuff. You guys are using our, or watching our product. Tell us what you want. And that's what we're going to try to deliver. So whew, with that ramble, this is where it kind of gets washed out, guys. I'm so sorry. If this, this is, is a, supposed map, to be a map, this is a map. <laughs> You can't really see it. Well, I don't know but if we get out of the frame. Maybe it'll see if it'll, it really no. doesn't. So anyway, we're going to have, th this is just our uh, visual though. So this is the map and it shows us leaving the Ozarks and we go down to New Orleans. We cut the coast all the way over to Daytona. It's our kickoff ride. It'll, we're going to leave the 21st and then we'll be out to Daytona until the 9th. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a pretty good little trip here. And this is what we do. We just put in map quest and we uh, mark locations. And this, I'm sure this is the way you guys do it. This is the way we do it. People ask us a lot what we do. We just go to Google mm -hmm. and we Google it and we put in the map and it just, we just pick the route that we're kind of wanting to run. So as you can see here, kind of. Which on the map, <coughs> this is, you know, people ask us, like you were saying, how do we save money and stuff like that? One thing that we do, two things that we do, when we're looking at the map, we always try to avoid um, some toll rolls, toll roads. Um, if it's not going to be like a, if it doesn't, if it doesn't take away such a long, a huge part of our trip, then we'll go the certain route that it's better for us. But we try to avoid those things. But then also like we're going to be ending up um, probably the first night near Jackson. So Jackson is huge. So we try and find a little town outside of the big towns that we can stay at because hotels are usually cheaper or other accommodations. So that's something that we've done before too. Yeah, and absolutely. And while we do that, we're just always looking up history. So we just like, we totally just put in, Vicksburg and we say what's to do there and that kind of gives us an idea I'm sure you guys do it too and then we just start looking and they lose something no someone said there was a bird poking out of your beard <laughs> <laughs> probably the little bastard's been hiding in there um so yeah so we just look this stuff up you know and that kind of gives the insight if we haven't been there before so anyway, like I'll get back on track here. We were going to leave the Ozarks that first day. We'll run down somewhere Jackson, Vicksburg, and we're going to crash there that night and hang out. That's going to be next Friday, and we're going to go live next Friday. Next Friday, we'll be on location wherever we end up, and we're just going to shoot the shit. We're going to tell you about our bike. We're going to also be telling you about the good, the first good ride on our new Legend suspension, which I'm really excited about. Um, that is our last video that we just posted. If you haven't seen that? Go check that out. I want to give a big shout out to Legend Full Show. Now, this is pretty cool. Going into Vicksburg, Steph and I have gone in there quite a bit to go to New Orleans and stuff. The bridge is going in. This is the stuff that really tickles our fancy. And uh, they have a new one and an old one, and you can see it. And then when you're coming in, it's just iconic. And of course, right off to your left, and we're going down south is the casino there. Uh, Steph and I have gone to that casino quite a bit. It seems like that's kind of where we stay right around in there when we're heading down. Um, it's not usually huge. I mean, it's not really packed either. No. I mean, it's like a cool little, you know. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's a smaller one. It's a paddle boat look. It's on a river there. It's um, They got food in there. We've ate there. The restaurant is it's good food, but it is pricey. Uh, the gambling, I'm not a big gambler. She is, I lose, she wins. She did win me. So she's pretty lucky, but <laughs> Steven, thanks for becoming a member and welcome. Oh, a hundred octane. Boom. Thank you. That's cool as hell. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. Happy new member day. Um, so yeah, we stay there and hang out. Um, they also, I'll just scroll because it's my visual. They have the um, Vicksburg National Military Park there. Yeah, if you guys haven't hung out in Vicksburg or in that area, a lot of cool stuff. This is one of them that we did. We went and explored, what was it, two years ago? 
Yes, and it is a cool place because you can walk the whole battlefield. Mm -hmm. This is kind of the entry, so you can go in there, and they have signs posted all along the way, and they have, like, monuments. Here Steph is. That's Steph right there. It's not a great picture, but, you know. Yeah, hey, it's just something I found. I did this. Um, so, yeah. A lot so they, of reenactments, a lot of the original um, canons and... It's super, it, it is badass. I mean, if that, you know, if that tickles your fancy, like I said, it may not. And Gilbert, thank you. Thank, thank you, you Miss. Oh, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Goals. I didn't know this when you, they mm -hmm. do it, when you do a super chat, and I'm sure you guys can see it too. It's got like a little animated. Um, Dude's getting it. I don't know what that is. I don't know, man. He looks kind of like a he's bean. Super, he's super happy though. He's really, he looks like he's not moving, but he is moving. Oh, he's yeah. sliding on his knees. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you, Mike Myers. I'm glad you're there. Hi, Happy Mike. Valentine's Day to you and Laura. Happy Valentine's um, Day, guys. M. Griffith, you said that you are an hour and a half from Vicksburg. Oh, yes, right on. we'll have to hang out. We'll have to catch up. And um, I really yeah. do. We we always um, spend a little time there. We need to spend some more time. Yeah. Just actually hang Mike out. said that he's power sliding. He's a power slider. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he's doing right there. That guy's, a, he's a power sliding right mm -hmm. there. That's what he's doing. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, that's going to be our first day, um, Vicksburg, Jackson, Jackson area. So like and I we'll said, live that we'll night. we'll leave Friday and we'll be down there um, Friday evening. That'll be Friday, and we'll go live there. Something else I do want to throw in there, guys. This trip is not about how many miles we put in a day. Um, we're going to put. I think by the time we get home, it'll be somewhere depending on what we do around three mile, three thousand mile round trip. But we're not going to do a shit ton of miles in the day because we're going to try to really slow it down, hone in to see what's going on in the place that we are in history and eat. And we're going to try to get some good content to show you guys. So we can't stay on the road just busting ass doing crazy miles and get good content. Um, so this is going to be a really slow down and I'm going to enjoy it. Steph's going to enjoy it. Last year we really laid the miles down. This year we're just going to take a little bit more easy when we can. Yeah. So we're going to leave there and then we're going to head down to New Orleans and going down to New Orleans, of course, there's Lake Pontchartrain. That thing is a huge body of water. Uh, it's really cool because of the bridge. I mean, a lot of people are like, ah, oh, the damn bridge, but I get the biggest kick out of it because here it is right here. It kind of shows you going on and it, it is a tow bridge. So you yeah. have to pay. Going down to New Orleans, you can actually go around Lake Pontchartrain on I-10, or you can actually cross the bridge. We've done it both. Yeah, for us, it's a little bit longer to cross the bridge than going around on, on I-10, um, but it's really cool bridge. Yeah, and the thing is, what's cool about the bridge, it is um, the world's longest consecutive bridge across a body of water in the Guinness World Record. There is another bridge. I believe in China. Yeah, but they, it's not a continuous. Bridge, right. I think so. it has tow uh, or it has uh, brakes for ships. I'm not really gates, you know, I'm not really sure. But this is the longest continuous uh, bridge. Uh, it's, it's two lanes. Um, this right here, you can't really see it. Just tells a little bit about it. That's what I'm telling you right now. It, but it's like 24 miles. It's like 24 miles. It costs you five bucks to get on the bridge and ride the bridge. If you're not into that. Now, right here, it shows... This is uh, some really cool guys riding across the bridge. Yeah, this is uh, Bob and Joe, and they're just like hauling ass over there to get them a beer in the quarter. Well, they're um, actually they're not hauling ass yet. Once they once they pass this little yes, so medium. they, these <laughs> mediums right here, you guys, are where do the um, officers hang out. The boys in blue are right here. So when you're hauling ass, let me get over across this bridge, you got to watch it because they will get your ass. The speed limit down to the right, I believe, is 65 across that bridge, give or take, something like that. Um, but, you know, when you do get on the bridge, you are on the bridge. And on a bike, it's kind of like, dude, there's nowhere to go. So, But anyway, it's yeah. really cool. I love going on to it because it shows a little bit of the swamp and, it's Brandy, a different view. Good to see you on here. And um, <laughs> Louisiana, home of the Daiquiri to goes. Oh, no the shit. Drive through Daiquiris. And those are the, yeah. 
Throw to the shit, and yeah. you can. As long as you don't put your straw, straw in your cup, you can't get <coughs> in trouble. For so you, if you guys don't know, so see, we take all this stuff like everybody's been where we've been, but a lot of people have it. So we're talking about New Orleans. Let's just get down. Yeah, so you can stop and get a daiquiri, a big some bitch or a little one, in your car and drive off with it. It's a badass, but you can't put straw in it. Yeah. Hey, so Jennifer. then we're just going to head on down 10 right to New Orleans. This is my sign cue. That means get to talking about New Orleans. When we're going to get down into New Orleans, this right here is Cafe de Mon right here. This is on Jackson Square. Uh, we, Steph and I, New Orleans means a shit ton to Steph and I. We have gone in there for years. I've been going in there for many years. We actually took the kids in there years ago. Uh, 2012. For, was it 2012? We took all the kids in for spring break. It was a lot of fun. It was oh, fun. God. And it was, I, it, it was nice to be able to share that little bit with the kids. And now they've got that in their system. They have that. They know that culture. They know that feeling. And I think that's a love that they now have also, of all, not just traveling, but New Orleans, the culture there. So that's pretty cool to be able to share yeah, that. With it them. really is. Um, and a, a cool little note here, we're actually having the oldest of the five. She's going to be down there doing a uh, conference for college. We're actually going to get to meet her, uh, meet up with her down there in New Orleans while we're down there. I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm going to just swipe so it keeps us going. Like right here is the chapel. It is washed out. But Steph and I have spent many, many hours right here. It's the square. Has a fence all the way around. It has shop on the inside, and um, so right here we'll we'll hang out. There's a lot of art that they hang on the wall all the way around. We've got some pieces of art hanging up in our house right now that we've got down there. Um, of course, you know it has all kind of architectural that's old as hell. Um, it's just cool to walk around just to take in the sights, smells, and the people. It takes a little bit for us to get used to it because we have to kind of get accustomed to all the hustle and bustle, everybody being around you, but it's super badass. Of course, uh, this is the um, <clears throat> blacksmith shop. So it's super old. I don't know how old it is. It's, it's one of the oldest buildings down there, and you can always go get a drink there and hang out. Everybody's always just standing out in the damn road. It's I round think it's the handle. oldest. I think it is, but I, I don't want to be wrong. I'm going to bust my chops for it. But people, yeah, be, it's right on the known, end of bourbon. We're known for wrong information. Yeah, guys. we're totally wrong all the time. But anyway, we're getting excited. This is so freaking cool. So the first time that Steph and I went down to New Orleans, uh, it wasn't Mardi Gras. It wasn't anything. We were just able to go and said, the hell it. We're gone. This was before there was Airbnb because we do a lot with Airbnb. Trying to save every penny we can, we get on Craigslist. Go to Craigslist, real sketchy, find some dude on there that's got a apartment that we could rent through him. We had to getting the money somehow, I guess PayPal or something. I think we PayPal and then we met him down there in the quarter um, actually, to get the key. Actually, we never did meet him. I kept yeah. texting him. He finally called me and says, listen, here's the code to the front gate. Enter the code. Go up there. Told us where the key was hid to get into it. It all worked out, though. And we actually stayed there like two or three times there. And it's really cool uh, building. It was right on Bourbon Street. So right here is a blacksmith shop. It was just about three houses down. Yeah. And you could hear all, everything going on out there. But I would never <sighs> trust Craigslist as far as renting any accommodation. We use Airbnb, but a yeah. very cool story. I thought sketchy. I'd share with you guys. Right here is Jackson Square. I mean, what can we say about it? It, it we go ahead, man. I was gonna say another <coughs> thing that we do to save money a lot of times is we hit up like um, local delis and stuff instead of eating out in a restaurant or a yes. cafe all the time. So they're in New Orleans on Royal Street, just um, down from Bourbon Street is um, Ross's, Ross's Market. And so we'll go there and we'll get some sushi or we'll get like, whatever's some, cold there. That's usually what we'll get. Yeah. And it's you walk in Ross's it's like a grocery store right there off the square. We've we've done this forever. We're going to do it this time when we're down there. We'll walk in there, grab whatever's cold there. We go out right here with this dude is beating a bongo drum. 
We sit right here on these benches. We eat a cheap meal for five bucks and we watch everything going on. Um, there's always musicians out there. There's street performers. There's um, later at night, there's the card readers and all the um, black Psychics. magic kind of weird shit, you know, that's we just absolutely eat up, you know, magic tricks. Um, and like, you never know who you're going to run into. Like, we were down here. This dude has this O Suzuki here in a trailer, and he makes magnets. And this has been five or six years ago. Steph and I were down there. Here's Steph checking out the magnets right here. We still got one of his magnets that I bought off of him. He made these, and he puts them in his trailer, and then he sticks these all over his trailer. And you can go out there. They're all over here. You can go out there and pick out which one you want and, uh, you know, yeah, take one cool. home. It's cool. Got a picture and got the magnet. Yeah. Like I said, Steph has a lot of uh, jewelry. Not a lot. Quite a bit, though. Stones that has been wrapped in copper. So we was there one time walking the streets, and there was this couple sitting there. Man, it was they were going through a rough time. I don't know how they it, – it was super rough. They were both really upset. He was in pain, probably strung out on shit. She was a really sweet girl. And if you're, if you're familiar with the quarter – um, down towards the end of the quarter towards um, Frenchman and espionage, all that down through there is kind of where they were at. So if you're familiar with the quarter, you kind of know the area that I'm talking about. Yeah. It was just right there at the port of call. No, 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 no. Chuck, maybe it was. I'm getting well off here. I'm uh -huh. getting on the other end. Anyway, they were sitting there. Um, they asked what stone they wanted to wrap. Steph was like, I want this one. Once again, we paid them, um, got their phone number, and they text us when it was done. We walked back and got our stone. She still has it and wears it all the time. Just cool stuff. And, like, if you've been down there, there's haunted – there's so much haunted shit down there, so much pirate stuff down there. It's really cool. They have these haunted tours that they have up that you can take. Not that I've ever done a haunted tour. I'm the dude that's across the street that heckle the people in the tour. I, think I shouldn't be that way, but I have a lot of fun. They run me off. So, uh, you know, they tell you the whole history, and, and it's pretty cool to hear the dudes. They're working really hard, and the chicks down on the history tour. I should not give them hell. Not just a little bit, though. Um, right here, I love this place. This is uh, Pirate Alley. They have Pirate Alley Cafe there that we, we uh, go to quite a bit. This, this is really supposed to be really haunted. Right off Jackson Square, there's two alleys that go back and roll and back up in there. And um, it's, it is an eerie feel like Steph and I have gone down there and we've stayed out till the sun comes up and we'll walk back through all this shit in the quarter. And um, it is eerie. Yeah. It's really cool because once the sun goes down, um, there is a, he showed a picture earlier. So um, Jackson square, the cathedral and everything. So on Gorgeous. the back side of it is a statue of Jesus. And, he's saying and like yeah. And of course, the sun goes down so it's dark and all you see is all these little lights from the, you know, from the alleys and from the street. And of course the glow of bourbon street, but there is um, light shining perfectly to cast a huge shadow on the back of the cathedral that building. It's so of Jesus. So cool. Yeah. It's awesome. It's pretty and then it's hot. It's got, it's just a, it's a mixed feel of like spiritual, like I'm going to go to heaven and then I take the wrong step and then I'm, gonna go to hell it's just all right there it's i love it so um and another thing i wanted to bring up too on a little softer note the aquarium the audubon aquarium audubon zoo um it's a you go in there oh, i love aquarium stuff i love fish of course i love bird hell i like everything but we have spent a lot of time in the aquarium they also have another place in there if you've got the kids and going down there or just taking your honey or just yourself they have a um, bug exhibit, like and spiders and all this stuff. It's, yeah, they have an insect um, yeah. insect terrarium so type it's museum. Part of the Audubon too, and it's super badass. Um, I would they totally have the zoo. Wear, they have I, the zoo. They have the aquarium. Then they have the insect and butterfly terrarium thing. But you can actually buy your ticket for just one of those things, or you can buy a whole package and be able to go tour all of them. And you can spend all single day in just one of these all places. All single day? All all single day. All single. Yeah. All the single day. Listen to me. I'm making up new uh, 
terminology. Hillbilly talk right <laughs> here, 101. Yeah, but Steph and I have gone in here, especially when it's a hot day. We'll go in there and chill out. Super badass. I would go go see all their their uh, exhibits. I love it, love it, love it, love it. It's down on the boardwalk, too, where you can walk down, down on the boardwalk. Yeah, Stephen, you said that they have a super weird museum of death. They have some odd. Oof. Yeah, so I wasn't going to talk a whole like... lot about the voodoo stuff in our own for <laughs> some of but um, we get in to looking at all that stuff. You know, you it's just a couple of the little stores there, even off bourbon. You can go off in and it goes back in there deep, and they have like shrunken heads and all this crazy shit that's fake as hell in there. Uh, but still, man, it really gets your. You know, your creative juice is going. I'm wondering, really, is that for sure what I'm looking at? But that's the kind of stuff that we're enjoying on these trips, you know. And we really do get around and poke into all kinds of shit and got into stuff. Yeah. The next thing we kind of want to touch base on, too, is the food down there. We can't wait to get down there and eat some crawdads. dads. Oh, that's yeah. That's favorite. Uh, another place we love eating is, of course, Port Call. Awesome food. Oh, yeah. yeah. Another thing, like I talked about going to the market and just getting some cold stuff and going to Jackson Square and sitting there and eating. Saves you money. Saves you time, too, because a lot of the, I mean, that's a touristy place. It's going to be overpriced and there's going to be, it's usually packed. So we sneak into a market. Actually, this right here is Quartermaster. It's on the corner of Bourbon and I think it starts with a C, not for sure. Anyways, they have, it's like a little um, convenience store and it's probably 15 by 20 in there. It's really super small, but at the back. 30 by 30. It's not very wide at all. It's not all. very big. So you walk back in the back. 30 by 30 would be a square. Yes, and that it is would. not a square. Yes, it would be. Because it's like shotgun style. Okay, 20 by 30. Okay. Anyways. We'll measure it by guy when we get down right. there. So yeah, you go back in the back and it's good eating. We're supposed to pinky promise me. I, I want to see you measure that place. I measure. But yeah, they have a deli in the very back, so it's really. Yeah, so we do a lot of that shit. You know, we just find food anywhere we can go. Of course, we get that time of night. You get up oh, Cafe Du Monde. That's one of her favorite places to go get coffee. And what do you get? Beignets. Mm. Oh, actually, I just bought some community coffee. The other day, and it's already pre-ground and everything, and it's sugar dusted beignet flavor. Oh shit! Oh, she got a French press too. They've been doing that too slowly. So another thing over there in Frenchman we go to a lot is the Frenchman uh, uh, art, which I think they call it the garden art garden. You can go there and get quite a bit of art over there, handmade stuff. We ran into a lot of people now. They. Um, <clears throat> we get off over there into um, the Spotted Cat. We hang out there a lot. We're, this is all these places that we're going to eventually get to while we're down there. Um, the Abbey's dinner. We love going to that if you've never been to the Abbey's. Um, and then at the end of the night, you may end up like this guy. I got a picture of this guy passed out. And then I got another picture of this guy. He was passed out, too. I thought that was fun. Ooh, that's way too bright. Yeah. So then we're just talking about the quarter. We're going to be hanging out there for... About a week. Yeah, we'll be for a week, and then we're going to be heading out. Oh, yeah, that's our bicycles. Another thing you can do to save money is if you're not staying right close to the quarter, but you are, you know, within riding distance. It's a very, very, it's a very, it's a very bike friendly, bicycle friendly. Mm -hmm. We area. got some old bikes a couple of years ago. We redone them, and we took them down there, and we rode our bikes absolutely everywhere. It had a blast doing it too. Some pictures of Steph and I down here. This is when we met our buddy uh, Wayne that tattooed my head last week. Uh, we met him down in New Orleans, and Steph's getting tattooed, and I'm getting tattooed down there. It's right on Frenchman there, downtown tattoos. Pretty cool place. Oh, Woody, you got a good question. I've been trying to read comments too as <coughs> as we're going through this. Woody, you said personal question: Who watches your kids when you travel so much? Well, Our out of the five, we have two that are still in high school. Mm -hmm. One is driving. One is got her permit, but she's not driving yet. Um, so really, we've got two that are basically still in town with us here mm -hmm. and um, in school. And really, it's, um, you know, it's the help of our parents and family. Yeah, and they're at the age now. They're, they've, been, they've really 
they're good kids. Um, so we have a good um, base here at home that everybody, like I said, that we got two left here, and let like one of them, the boy, one he's working all the time and going to school and playing football. And you, um, we couldn't do this without a good support, no. a good support system. Three of them, though, they're up and gone. They're doing their thing. They're actually, yeah, they are 30 minutes, two and a half hours, and an hour and a half. Yeah, away from us. So, actually, we don't even see them much as we used to, which is yeah, an odd thing. We're going to get her crying this time. But, yeah, um, and we, that's another. We have an emoji for that. Oh, the cry emoji? Yeah, jeez. She made a cry emoji. Uh, that's our good. crying emoji, there although it it's him crying. Yeah, and that, that's a good question with the kids and money. I was just going to show this. If you can see it, eh, pretty maybe watch that a little bit. This is Steph on the go when we're traveling around. She has the Etsy store, and she makes jewelry. And uh, Elements of the Oso, if you want to go find it on Etsy. And she get orders, and we'd be out on the road. She takes her tools, and she builds her shit while we're out on the road. Uh, we did that forever. Um, I don't know how many years you've had Elements of the Oso. It's been quite a few years now. She's really built that up, and it's doing really well. So we're yeah. actually, that's a lot of what we do all the time. Yeah. So, yeah, so while we're down there, it's going to be Mardi Gras. We're going to be going to some of the parades. We're going to be hanging out down there in all the districts, uh, from Warehouse, Garden District, all the way, French Court, all the way down to the Bywater doing stuff. Uh, this is their official um, poster that they sell every year. I think it's a pretty good one this year. Yeah, it's good. Um, and this is us. You can't really see, but <laughs> we really do dress up. We're not going to really dress up this year. But, yeah, you uh, can't. You can't go to. Um, you can't to, go down to Mar for Mardi Gras and fat suit Fat Tuesday without um, a costume. Yeah. So here um, we're just uh, hanging out with our costumes. This is some chick that was really cool. Um, she's on her bike and she was all dressed up, just putting around the corner. It was cool as hell. I got a picture of her. Of course, Steph, this is at DBA that we hang out a lot on uh, Frenchman over there. Steph and a buddy of ours were all dressed we up. We were, yeah. We were Indian something or another. Uh, me with a uh, pair of underwear on, a uh, pair of boots, and some rolling rock. That's always fun. Like I said, there's our bicycles. We had a hell of a lot of fun. That was super washed out. But so here, we're as we're down there, I do want to clue, uh, tell you guys that we're going to get down into the bayou. We get down in there, and we're wanting to see a lot of the, the Cajun country, get in there hang out with people. Uh, I've been on a swamp tour years, years, years ago. I took the kids when I was a little bitty with Steph and I working together when I took them on a swamp tour. We're uh, going to try to get Steph on an airboat, get her out and see some alligators. She's going to see some alligators I out in the wild. I want to see one in the wild. In the wild. In the in its Feeder. natural habitat. Yeah. Not like, you know, um, some Cajun restaurant where they have like the alligators there petting zoo type thingy i don't know at a restaurant yeah 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 we don't want to go I to the restaurant and see what we're going to eat um she wants to go i want to see an alligator yeah not in this one not tour, acting the swamp tour that i went on and took the kids on it been years ago we actually went to the location where the water boy was filmed and his house is there with mama that said foosball was the devil um, we actually went to that house and they actually, the dude told us that they, at the end of the movie, they blew that house up. They were supposed to pack it lightly and do some explosion and they blew the damn house totally up. They rent the damn house. So it's not really there anymore. It's just like leveled. But anyway, that was, I don't even know why. So we're going to get down there and do a lot of bit, of, a lot of that too. I hope to meet a lot of you guys down there and ladies then they're riding their bikes. We're going to hang out and uh, take a stroll down in the Cajun country, get down in the fingers. Yeah. Like I said, so go ahead, baby. Yeah. So, uh, no, I was just going to yeah, so move on. Then, just... I know. So, we're going <laughs> we're gonna to get out of New Orleans and we're going to hit, we're going to ride 90. So, we're going to head uh, 90 all the way over. We're going to take Chef, how do you pronounce it? Yeah. So, as we're leaving New Orleans on 90, because we don't want to take the interstate. I 10. We yeah. want to, or yeah. I 10. We want to stay on some of the older roads and scenic and say, of course, as close as we can to 
the coast. Yeah, just um, hug that coast. Yeah, so Highway 90, it's like um, Chef Mentor. I may be pronouncing this wrong, but it's kind of a cool story because we got to look and I was like, why is it even named Chef Mentor? Who the hell is Chef And this is what Mentor? we do. And this is what we get off on. We're looking at when we're rolling down the road. You know? Yeah. So, so we, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. So it's pretty interesting. It's really not a chef at all. I thought it was going to be a chef, but it, go ahead. Yeah. So chef is actually um, translated over so many years, whatever. And it's actually meaning chief or lying chief. So the Choctaw people actually um, exiled their chief for lying and his family. Um, that is one take on it. Yes. And then the, there's another take that's actually the French, and it was a dude that was in a rural family somehow, and it was a lie. And it was so we spent a lot of time reading about this shit. So when we do our trips, that's what we're doing. I don't know the truth, but we're going to get to ride it and talk to some people out there on the road. You guys may know what we're talking about. Yeah. And D Lawson, I'm on this, I'm on the same page as you. Denny's needs to hook us up with the new stage four. For the trip. <laughs> oh my bless your heart. Yes, I will take my hand off to that. I would take that 131 any day. We've been daydreaming about it. Me and Brian's been talking about it. Um I, we really need that. Um yeah. So if you guys are just tuning in, I know a couple of people's popped up and then asked about the tattoo and stuff like oh, yeah. that and what we're up to. Um, just Still a right. recap, we're just going through our, <coughs> our kickoff ride down to New Orleans and we're going to take our time. And when okay. I say take our time, we're going to do about 100 miles a day Nothing. just because there's so much stuff between New Orleans and Daytona that we want to soak up and we want to check out. So, yeah, we're just... Um, yeah, we're just talking about Taking all that. Time. We're kind of showing a trip. Um, you know, we, of course, that talks a little bit. This is all washed out here. Uh, along the way, sorry, guys, I'm going to kind of get back at it because you guys are like, come on, talk about the trip. So along that chef road, we're going to hit White Church, which was wondering what the hell of that. We looked that up, too, because it has the Indian, you know, the kneeling Indian. A little bit of history about that, too. It's really a restaurant. There's another one in Slidell, supposedly. And this is just kind of a place where everybody always stopped and kind of got famous. <clears throat> Basically, because people don't need to take a piss, leave in New Orleans, or get something to eat, and then people started meeting there. I thought it was interesting. I'm going to check that out. I know Steph was wanting to. Then we're going to, as we head over there, we're going to go to uh, St. Louis Bay Bridge. So, yeah, so what was that? August 2005. Yeah, Hurricane, Hurricane Katrina, Katrina really hit hard in this Man, area and sucked. basically wiped out the city from what we've what we've heard. Um, so they really made a comeback. And I don't think that Bay St. Louis has a huge um, happening anymore. We've never been there. I think it's interesting. There's all kinds of stories about their city hall being haunted. Um yeah. Which is not open. I think there was a restaurant in there and it's not open anymore. Yeah, but we looked into that too. It's and pretty cool. Yeah, so this is the bridge that when Hurricane Katrina came through just absolutely destroyed it. They've got it back up. Um, and then what I see, it's like four lanes now, two lanes on each side. It's um, It looks like they've got everything back up and going. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we ride that, we're going to end up going, which I'm super excited about. Is yes. An anonymous biker. You're down there in New Orleans. I, um, we may be hitting you up as far as some like hot places. You, I mean, you're familiar with that place, those places down there. He just said that Bay St. Louis is really nice. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I, we've been looking into it. That's what's really cool. You know, taking our time and um, researching where we're going and plus, we want to show you guys as well what we're doing. And we just don't want to run uh, I-10 because we've done that a couple of times. So we just want to take our time, you know, just run that coastline. But like I was saying, it takes us to Dolphin Island, which is Massacre Island. And I was like, what the hell is the story with Massacre Island? So this right here is just a picture of uh, the island. Um, I'll go back. Let's see if I have a good picture of where... 
So anyway, it's going to be kind of washed out. But Masker Island, it had that name when they first came over here. And I don't know what year it was. The French, they came over here and like, holy shit. It had like skulls all over this island is what I was re reading. And they thought it was a site of a big massacre, which really was the Indians that lived there. And they did burial ground or mounds there. And they what they're thinking is a hurricane came through and just absolutely destroyed those mounds and scattered bones all over. So it, the first name was Master Island. So that really piqued my interest, right? So later they named it Dolphin Island because of a king that came over and there's a big story behind that. But there's <laughs> the fort that's there that's going to be really cool. So we're going to head down there and go to the fort. The so Fort Gaines. Fort Gaines. This is a little bit of a satellite view of it. So we get down there, we're going to hang out because Fort Gaines, it's got a huge amount of history, of course, uh, with Civil War. Um, it's got some bad shit that's crazy stuff that goes on there. Haunted. Uh, just it's a lot of haunting sightings in there. Um, I'm really excited to see what that's all about. We hang out there. And then, of course, we, we're going to get the um, – the, uh, I just went blank. The boat. The Yeah, we're going to do the ferry. And, of thank course, you. if you guys do any ferries or anything like that, especially down here in the Gulf area, they do run certain times, of course, and then it could they could close unannounced because of weather. Um, so, yeah, always check into that. So I think that the last one is going to run at 630 maybe. I'm not for sure. But we're going to try and aim to be there the one before just in case we miss it. We'll catch the last one. But we're going to aim for 5 o'clock-ish. And I think it's like 9 bucks. I think. And then so much another passenger. I think it's $5 for a motorcycle with one rider. If you have two riders, then it's something like, like that. But they've got the website. It posts everything. We're really excited to go across that too because people said they've seen dolphins and stuff. And it, and that's a good idea or that's a good point. An honest biker, he said that they extend hours during Mardi Gras, which that makes no complete shit. sense because it's so packed and it has so much tourism and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Um, and Dolphin Island, Fort Gaines, Fort Morgan, all that right there has lots of history and they have museums and tour, tours and stuff like that. So it only makes sense to extend hours because you'd make more money. Yeah. You know, I'm excited to get down there. This is one of the highlights for me on a trip is checking this place out. I've seen some beautiful pictures down there, watching videos on YouTube, really got me kind of up and going, ready to do that. So then from there, we're going to head on over to Gulfport. And Biloxi. And I know and someone Biloxi. had said, um, <coughs> mentioned a restaurant there in Biloxi. Um, I'll have to go back and find it. But Yeah. I'm all about the food. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. And that's that's kind of cool, too, because we stumble on and stuff. Um, we're, I'm really looking forward to getting down there and, and of course, eating some good oh, yeah, fresh saddle tra seafood. Saddle Tramp. He may have been the one that mentioned that. Um, was it Shaggy's in Biloxi? I'm not for sure. But he said it was a really good place. But, yeah, Anonymous Biker said that sha um, Saddle Tramp is from. Oh, no shit. Very cool. We're actually staying with a buddy uh, down there in New Orleans. So we'll be right down there, right pretty close to the quarter down there as well. So hmm. uh, I can't wait to see everybody. I mean, Shaggies. Of, yeah. Shaggies. Yeah, we're, we're going to check everything out. I love this stuff right here. Letting us know. Also, Timothy had said that there's um, right at the Mississippi Gulf Coast is Cruising for Coast, which has thousands of classic cars. So that's cool. That'd be really shaking. cool to look into. Oh, sorry. I'm shaking it, guys. Slap your mama barbecue shack in Biloxi. Awesome grub there. Oh, man, that sounds like a great like place it. to me. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's see. What do we got on here? I, this is just some literature here that I've got talking about uh, Biloxi Lighthouse. And it was telling, like, man, it was so crazy. It was built in Maryland and shipped down south. Um, May, oh my gosh, really? It was completed, what it's saying, May 1848. It's crazy. Uh, I think it said that there, there was only so many lighthouses left. I think there was just a couple, and there was like 14 at one time. But so they they built it, shipped it down, and then put it up. Um, I thought that was really cool because we've seen a lot of lighthouses. Well, not a lot. We've seen a, quite a few of the lighthouses 
uh, in Florida. One that we went to was in St. Augustine, and we got to go in and go up it. And it really piqued my interest now with lighthouses. Uh, of course, you know, it's, it's history. This is badass. Uh, so I'm going to want to check that out. Yeah, Ship Island. That's one that we looked into there in Biloxi, too. I'm glad you mentioned that. So there's all kinds of little islands that are um, so interesting. Uh, Timothy, you said Ocean Springs has had a nut donuts, family owned donuts made fresh close to Mondays. OK, I'm going to plan not to go on Monday because I want a fresh. Donut. We need to write that down. Yes. And give me a good yes. donut. Which actually, that's where we're going to be actually staying that, that next night. So after we leave New Orleans, we're going to head through all that stuff, take our time, end up in Ocean Springs and uh, be there for the night. They have, is it Jimmy's Catfish there in Ocean Springs, I believe, that is said to be haunted. So that's another thing, of course, down in New Orleans, down in all those southern states there, there's abandoned Places, haunting you know? stories, ghosts, you know. Yeah, so we're going to check out a lot of that stuff. Uh, here's some more literature that I was reading about. It's all washed out here. I know talking about Ocean Springs. Um, then we're going to head over to Lost Keys. How do you pronounce that? Perdido. Perdido Keys, which I'm, means Lost Keys. I'm from uh, like. We lose our keys all the time, so we'll definitely fit in there. But we're talking like a lot of treasure that's been buried there, which I really got a big kick out. A lot of pirate stuff there. Um, Blackbeard, you know, was saying that he had gone through there and it's real tight and it kind of nails in in the bay. Uh, of course, I'm getting all this stuff. I've read so much this week, getting all this stuff in my head. Um, but of course, that perks our interest big time. Blackbeard. I'm becoming Whitebeard slowly but surely. Um, some more literature here, and it's just talking about the bay and how it runs and talking about, um, you know, in the 17th, 18th century, hiding your treasures there and about. And they were also talking, I read this deal about people saying like after hurricanes and different things, it washes the sand away, people finding treasures. You know how you read all this crazy shit, but they would be real secretive about it because if it was found, it was property of the state. So nobody really wanted anybody to know. So then Steph found this cool badass map that showed all these treasures that should be hidden here and there. And then how I'm, true it is. I don't know. We don't know, but still it perks our interest because I know of a couple spots here in the Ozarks are supposed to have gold buried. One, there's one story that I was told as a child about my great grandma telling one of my family members on her deathbed about some gold that was buried around here from Jesse James. Yeah, I don't know. Jesse ran up in here and a lot of shit. So yeah, you guys check out one of our very first videos that we made about Twisted Sisters, Twisted Sister Ride through the Ozarks, and it was actually named after Annabelle, who was in a relationship with Jesse James and some other people. Um, so there's a lot of history about that. But really quickly, I want to thank Woody. New Yorker. Thank you so much for that super chat. Gosh, um, Woody. Feedback about the Legends Shocks and, and the Arai helmets. So whenever we do this route, ride, because we have rode the bike, uh, but not long distances with, no. the, with the shocks on. So once we do this ride, we're going to do a update and a review about the shocks after we get, you know, a good, you know, couple of thousand miles. Yeah, well, I mean, 500 miles. In yeah, and I mean, by the time we get down to New Orleans, because that's some shit ass roads going down through there, we're going to really be able to talk about them. Also, go ahead. And before I forget, Woody, I have your shirt we screen printed yesterday. So if you guys have ordered a shirt from us, um, you guys may see that on our YouTube and on our website and stuff like that. We have shirts for sale through Teespring. It's cheaper. If you order a shirt from us, it's hand, I mean, it's hand screen printed. We screen them, we screen print them, um, like every two weeks or so. So they are a little bit more expensive, but just to let you know, Woody, I do have your shirt. We screen printed it and it's shipped out. Yes. Yes. And sorry, we're a little slow at that stuff. Um, um, but we, it's all handmade and we're far from Amazon, Yeah, <laughs> but it's and, cool. Yeah. 
And Gina, thank you for asking, how do I join? So if you guys want to join, there is a <coughs> button. It's called join. It's membership. So we have three different tiers you can go on. So you may see some people's names highlighted with a little emoji badge next to their name, or they may this have a couple one. of different emojis that, you know, pop up from now and from now and then, and they're a little bit different than your standard ones. And that's just because they're the members. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciate every bit of it too. That's what makes us so much. That's the only reason we're doing it. And you yeah. guys, this means a lot to us because on the road, we are budgeted. We have to watch everything we do because we, I, Steph, we have elements of the OSO that we do. And then when we're on the road, we're not making any money. Mm -hmm. But I do want to be clear. We did get sponsored by Custom Dynamics this year. So that's helped tremendously. Where well, we yes. can slow down and take our time to show everything. Uh, Denny's Harley Davidson takes care of our bikes. They're a big part of our. So um, that's how we're doing this. Besides, clearly, you guys are keeping us fueled belly and gas on that bike and taking care of things for us but yes. with that that's why we're trying to work hard to slow down and show you guys what we're into yeah that's how we're so doing. that does bring us to pensacola <coughs> so there's a lot of cool crazy things happening in pensacola and that have been said to have happened in pensacola so this picture right here this is actually an old hospital in pensacola that um, I'm not for sure. I don't know. I don't know what date it was that they actually relocated. So it's been empty and sat there, but it's now ozone pizza pub. So it's a, it's a pizza place. In, We're going to go check it out. It's supposed in to be a haunted. hospital. So it's supposed to be haunted. Of That's course. So messed up. I love it. We're going to eat some pizza in the haunted hospital in an old hospital. <coughs> Pretty cool. So oh, this is just some goonies right here. It was just some goonies. And this is E.T. And you wonder why I have E.T. up. Because there's UFOs involved in this trip. I was not expecting UFOs. This is all blurred out. This is way too bright. And I'll step here so I don't blind you. But what it said, it's talking about Gulf Breeze, Florida in the UFO. You want me to read it? Yes. Okay. Steph is going to read this. So Gulf Breeze, Florida, UFO. So this is by history.com. Okay. If they... In the UFO Files video brought to you by the History Channel, you can learn more about the UFO sightings in Gulf Breeze, Florida in the 1980s. So Ed Walters took several photographs of UFOs in 1987 and took several more with tamper-proof cameras last year. Years later, sorry, years, years later. later. Um, anyways, years later, authorities found similar UFO models in Walters' attic and theorized that he could have faked the photos with double exposures. I don't know, man. And then I went to read more into it, and it came up. Yeah, so beginning in November 1987, the Gulf Breeze Senate, um, I don't know how you say that word, magazine, newspaper, something like that, you get the point, published a number of photos supplied to them by local contractor Ed Walters that were claimed to have shown a UFO. A UFO. So then um, this Bruce dude from UFO Logistics believed the photographs were genuine. However, others strongly suspect them to be a hoax. So is it real? Is it fake? Well, and then I did some more reading. They found some like phone like castings and stuff in his garage. And they said that he faked it. And then but it set off this like a whole like year of people watching out for this UFOs across the bridge. And then there's like, I read also that Florida is one of the most like busiest UFO sighting states, which I didn't know that. I have a little bit of history with UFOs. Not really. I mean, my dad did, but I've heard this story forever. Like he, this is going to get crazy, but he shot at some UFOs. What the hell? Right? Why would you shoot? Anyway, this light was out and the light went up and the light came back down to the to the field and it went up above <clears throat> the trees. He was young. Dogs were going nuts, running out there, running back, back and forth. He got scared. He went and got the 30, 30. The light went up in the sky and then came back down. And he was like, he loaded the 30, 30. He was like, boom, boom, boom. And he says, as he shot, I think there was two or three. They were like hovering around. They went <laughs> right together. And then went boom, 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 and were gone. So these stories, <laughs> it's so it just, it's like the Goonies, man. You get all this stuff in you, and you're just like, "Is oh, that story is 
and it's, it's, yeah. it's crazy. So, but this is the things as you grow up for me that I get into when we travel and we start looking all this crazy shit up and I'm like, okay, this is sparking my interest. So let's go here. Let's go here and try this shit out. So yeah, who knew UFOs are going to be involved? But I'm going to. S- yeah. Sorry. Cut you off. Then. Go ahead. Woody, thank you again for that super chat. He did say if we're ever in New York City or New Jersey side, lunch and beers are on me. Cool. Keep up the great work. My bike is in the winter storage now. You got a couch? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank well, you. Well, hopefully the winter storage will soon end and uh, you can get that bike out. I've been in New York years ago. Yes. And then Crazy Daddy 5150, thank you so much for, oh, man. Your, yeah, for your super chat. I appreciate that. You guys have you guys beers. have great travels. Have a drink on me. Thank yes. you so much. Right now, I'm kicking yes. back a cold one. Actually, someone said that just a little drunk. That's safe travels. Oh, yeah. sorry. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, that was you, crazy daddy. Sorry. Um, yeah, that's what I figured it it meant. I mistype all the time, and I don't type because I can't spell. So, what dates are we going to arrive in New Orleans again? So, we are going to be there the twenty second. <coughs> Um, through the 28th or 29th. That Friday-ish. Mm-hmm. We're thinking about heading out. So we'll be there for Fat Tuesday, of course, and then we're going to stay there a little bit afterwards because we're going to get down there on a ride and, and do some stuff. Uh, after Fat Tuesday, of course, Wednesday, like stuff said, we'll probably be laid up in bed a little bit there. Someone likes my shirt. Yeah, you like that? The yellow B, the honorary one. Thank you, Gina. Yes, the, and they, these shirts, Steph and I just find at thrift stores and stuff, and she just prints Actually, them. I think this is like a Walmart yeah. shirt. Anyway, someone wants to know what flavor you're drinking. Oh, peach. Uh, I mean, uh, fruit punch. I drank a lot of fruit punch. Um, I'm done with this one, and I'm moving on, though. Steph got me this one, Tropical Tide. She's getting me ready for the golf. Then her to get me some sand. Between my toes. So Capri Suns are really my thing. And then I really like um, uh, fruit snacks. I eat a shitload of fruit snacks. Um, so, yeah, tonight I'm just uh, taking some Capri Sun in. A lot of vitamin C. Mm-hmm. Um, what days are we going to be in Daytona? So whenever we are leaving Pensacola, I think we're going to probably ride down to Fort St. Joe. They're past Destin. We're going to go to Fort St. Joe. Fort. What? Fort. Fort. We're going to go to Fort St. Joe. Beautiful place. Yeah. It's, I can't wait to see all I think that. It's right outside of Destin, of course. And that's another thing. We're going to Fort St. Joe, of course, because things are going to be cheaper than in Destin. And we're going to head on over to Perry, which yep. I think it's paper mill, like country. Which we have Pine Bluff. It will probably going to remind us a little bit of the smells of down there. They said it used to be named like Rose Head because they had a lot of trees. And, and I guess they still do. That's that's their income. Yeah. Uh, after Perry, we're going to head on over to Daytona, though. And we'll be, yeah, Daytona Beach. Yes. So it looks like <coughs> we're going to probably end up in Daytona um, on the 4th. Probably. So that's going to be right there when everything's kicking off. I'm super excited. It's the 79th annual bike week. I didn't realize Daytona. it was the 70. Stuff like I got talking about this earlier. So it's the 79th Daytona Beach. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I went blank. Getting a little. And it's I'm getting getting really Capri Sun here. And it's the 80th Sturges this year. Yeah, that's kind of a coincidence. So we got to talking. I mean, I I see these numbers, but I didn't really put it together until I did this. Oh, yeah, James, I hope the know. weather is good for us. That's one perk for us to be able to really slow down and take our time making our way over there. So if the weather is bad one day, we need to stay an extra night somewhere just because, you know, it's nasty, bad weather. We can We've got time to kill. We've got, we can yeah. do an extra day ride for us in this yes. itinerary. So, the same day as another one. So, I, we have some wiggle room there. I looked at the weather for next Friday, too. It looks like we'll probably be leaving out here and it'll be in the 20s, mm-hmm. is what it'll be here when we leave out of here. It'll we be, don't have any warm gear. We don't have <coughs> any, not warm gear. We don't have any um, heated gear. So, we really just, we have woolies that we put on. And then we have our pants 
And then what we found out that really works well for us is we have rain gear and we throw the rain gear over the top and it really blocks a lot of wind plus holds that heat in. Mm -hmm. So even if it ain't raining, it's cold, we usually run with that over the top of our layers. Yeah. So H-Town Vapes, you had said no Texas um, part of our trip. Actually, no. So we are um, northwest <coughs> northwest area of Arkansas. So what we're going to do is we're just going to hit down south to about Little Rock, cut over east into Mississippi, hit the Jackson, Jackson area, and then just keep on going down south. So we're actually going to be going east from Texas. Um, we won't have to ride through Texas. Yeah, it's, if we go to Texarkana, it, it would add quite a bit on mm -hmm. as far as that. <clears throat> and then, um, you know, and then we'd plus, come back. Through. Go ahead, Bear. Plus, I was going to say, we have a couple of buddies over in Atlanta, Georgia, that I hope is still planning on heading down there with us. And if that's the case, they'll be hitting Jackson also. So that's going to be a great meetup Merge, for us. And, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, but we're going to be down in Texas this year. Yes. So back to Daytona Bike Week. Um, so that first Friday, you guys can find us at the Bruce Ross Myers um, Custom Dynamics setup. So they're going to have all kinds of representatives and stuff there doing installs. So you guys can find us there. Our bike's going to be there that whole entire day on the on the fifth. I had to think about the date. So the fifth all day, the bike's going to be there, but we're going to be there two to four. Yeah. We'll on be Friday. Right. Yeah. So that's what we're doing with custom dynamics this year is we'll be able to roll up and uh, they'll be able to show our bike with all the lights on it. Of course, if our bikes there, we're around somewhere. So we'll be doing that too. Um, that's on Friday. Yes. That's on and Friday. Then we'll be doing something with Rick rack on Saturday. Mm -hmm. We're going to work out details on that as well. But we'll be over there looking at uh, Rick Rack. Uh, they've got a new bag. And they sent us, super badass the other day, Shane sent us a new bag. So the new bag is a quick connect that goes on top of the tour pack that goes from the side quick connect instead of the rear like we had. Um, so it has a quick connect that just clamps on there. You can run strapless. That sort of thing right now. You know, run strapless. You just put that on there. Uh, we can put a lot of stuff in, in the Rick Rack bag as well. Um, so we'll be there at Rick Rack talking about, they, they carry all kinds of products here at Rick Rack, but we'll be talking about the, their new bag as well. Uh, we'll be going live at Custom Dynamics in the Rick Rack as well, I'm sure. you know. Yeah, that things. of course is another Friday. So after we do our meet and greet there at their booth on Friday, two to four, um, we're going to go live also there on location. So you guys can, you know, those that aren't going to be able to make Daytona bike week, definitely tune in with us that Friday night, because we're going to show you a little bit of what's going on at Bruce Ross Myers. They've got live music lined up. They've got tons of vendors. And of course if, we're going to be down on the strip as well. Yeah. Um, if you guys hadn't been to Bruce Ross Myers, it is humongous. Holy shit. It's a massive place. It's, it's, the destination. I mean, it's where you go. They've got so much shit going on. Last year, they had like an arm wrestling contest, which was really cool to watch and see that going on. I had a lot of fun. We met a ton of people. We met a ton of y'all down there and talked and had such a good time. They heard a lot of cool stories from everybody. And we just hung out. Uh, they got tons of vendors down there. Um, so, like Steph was saying, we'll be there at Custom Dynamics on Friday. We'll be down there with our Rick Rack, where they're going to set up as well. We'll find out the location where they're going to be because we mm -hmm. don't know exactly where they're going to be at there. Uh, and then we'll share, we'll be posting to what time we'll, we'll be there. And we'd love yeah. for you guys to come say, what's up? That'll be nice too, because if you guys aren't going to be down at Bruce Ross Myers on Friday, you guys can catch us on Saturday also. But like TJ said, we're going to be on the main strip. Um, Hell yeah, I'm going to be down there. You yell at me. As soon as I say, I hear, hey, what's up, everyone? I'm going to dance. That's Actually, my thing this year. they should say, hey, girl. Hey, girl. What's up? And then you're going to dance. If I hear my name, I'm just going to start cutting the jig. Just right in the middle of the street. He's and in the restaurant, moves. I'll cut a jig. <coughs> yes. He's got the moves. I know. So we'll be down there doing all the catching a few uh, or tossing a few back enjoying it um i'm excited to see all the bikes out and about 
Um, yes. That's another thing, you know, I was going to talk to you guys about. So, you know, I love bikes. I love all makes, models of bikes. I have my favorites, all of them, depending on what make it is and all this stuff. So, uh, Indian is doing the uh, Challenger Challenge, and they're going to kick it off in Daytona. I've just seen this. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's a heads up. You ride the new Challenger and then you can ride the Harley Davidson and see uh, on their uh, website. They they have it where, you know, they're pulling a food truck and they're racing each other um, and they're kind of doing a comparison between the two. So I'm I want to see that thing. You know, I want to see what it, I've of course seen what it looks like online, but I want to go there and see what it's like. I think I'm going to scrap my helmet on and my center and uh, do a little recording and throw you on the back and see what we think about it. I mean, just yeah. go, go ride it and see what it's all about. I'm Have curious. So, um, Jim frozen, you asked how the lion's doing. So if you are just tuning in, we talked about this a little bit earlier to uh, earlier in the live feed, but um, it's actually doing really good. Yeah. It's uh, you can see he's wearing a hat. So. Yeah, it's it's uh, hadn't ate a thing. It's been really quiet. Not what I was expecting. No, it's really healed up well. No, I mean, it, it is healed. It's done. It's all healed up. It was actually all healed up yesterday. Um, so, yeah, it's just like a done thing. Super, super easy. Let's see another question. Um, yes, when we get to Mobile, we're going to do Dolphin Island and we're going to take the Mobile Bay ferry across over so that was really cool too so taking the ferry over dolphin island has fort Gaines and then fort morgan over and those two forts were actually built to protect the mobile bay um don't think it all went as as planned because you know because of the british or whatever but pretty cool history a lot of history yeah yeah it's like uh one of them it's like the oldest um, mortar, I believe, or uh, mason uh, building left, or the oldest one still standing all intact, if I get that right. Mm -hmm. uh, and so one thing, the history there is just overwhelming. I've read and read on this, just looking into it. Uh, it's got some sad stuff uh, with it as well but they have the reenactments there. They actually have a working kitchen there and some other thing going on. I, we don't know. We've never been there. I'm, yeah. I'm looking forward to, to see what it's all about. Plus, you know, they say it's haunted. So I want to go see if I hear anything. I'm going to take a recorder in there. If I don't know, you never know how all this stuff is going to work out, but if there's not a lot of people around, I'm going to take one of our recorders. I'm going to set it up and I'm going to say, are there ghosts here? If you are speak, you know, I'm going to try to do the whole deal just to see what happens. You know, because over here in Eureka, where we're at here in Ozark, Eureka Springs, it has a big, like the Crescent Hotel is one of the most haunted hotels in the United States. Yes. And I haven't seen him pop up here yet. So I don't think that he's watching. And I'm sure him and his woman are out because it is Valentine's Day. But Michael Gregel. Um, he's actually going to be coming to the Ozarks in the middle of June and they are staying at the Crescent Hotel. So yeah, it's, that's going to be really cool. It's her be, birthday. Yes. It'll be really cool to get his feedback because it is haunted. They have certain rooms and um, they have two, I think two particular rooms that has had a lot of action in it that uh, not action. Yeah. Well, a lot yeah. of ghost. Well, there's been a lot of action <laughs> up in there. But a lot of ghost, ghost action, items. you know, going on. So it'd be really cool to see what you know what they say about it donnie thank you so much for becoming a member and, and a welcome thank you new member appreciate it i appreciate you um <laughs> let's see keith thank you so much <coughs> happy valentine's day to you too happy v day south georgia indian rider you said that you, we will be really impressed with the challenger that you were amazed okay um i it's really hard for me to say what I'm, I mean, I think he's looking forward to it just to, just to be able to like do the challenge and, you know, really check it out. But me, I have an issue with things that are just not visually appealing. Oh, you don't think it's appealing? I don't like. Ooh. I don't. You're going to make somebody mad. 
I know a lot of you guys ride Indians, and that's cool if you like it. I do. Me personally, I just don't like the look of some of their features. You don't? No, that's why. Yeah, that's why. Um, to change the subject, though, Mike Myers wants to know if you'll be his Valentine. Absolutely, my friend. I am your Avide. Uh, I'm gonna watch for the. Yes, I'm your man. I'm your man for the job. I'm really curious about this Indian deal now. I don't know. Yeah. I just. Well, I'm excited to get down there and see what it's about. Yeah. Uh, they they do resemble a lot of the you know of what the road glide is. They do have some different features on there. Uh, I want to see what that windshield is all about, like the adjustable windshield. That'd yeah. be kind of cool. I did look at their numbers on it. They're supposed to be outperforming the road glide in a lot of ways. One big way is their damn stereo. Like our stereo is like 50 and theirs is like 100 watts. I guess I would compare thing. it to a Dodge and a Chevy. Oh. I'm a Chevy. I drive a Chevy. <laughs> I like the look of a Chevy. Calling all kinds of shit out. So um, this may be where we draw the line between us. Yeah. I mean, you know, um, that's one thing I, Steph and I talk about all the time is like Harley Davidson for us is something that. We never could afford. We always wanted, you know, it's kind of like the American dream type deal. Uh, but, you know, you talk about corporate Harley Davidson and it kind of puts a bad taste in your mouth. But what's really going on good for us is, of course, our relationship with Dean's Harley Davidson here in Springfield, Missouri. And uh, that's that's where it is. It's those dealers that really take care of you. And they really have. So we really have a good relationship. I mean, yeah. Brian's my best friend, you know, so we really have a lot of good times on that old bike and that Harley Davidson is what does it. You know, it's, it's what we talk about. It's, you know, what we're dreaming about. And Steph is really, you know, I mean, you <laughs> love that Harley, don't you? Sorry. Yeah. Um, trucking in 360, you made a very good point. Um, as long as the gas gauge works. Oh God. I drive a Chevy and it does not work. The gas gauge does not work. So each time that I go get gas, I have to keep my receipt and I calculate my mileage. So I know about the mileage that I get per gallon, yeah. depending on the weather, because if it's colder out, then I'll let it warm up. And yeah. of course I have to account for that. Ask her how many times she's run out of gas. Quite a few. Um, so, and and that's like a difference. Like I, I used to have an old uh, Ford uh, Power Stroke, the 7.3, which we loved. Uh, that was really the first Ford I ever had. I loved that old truck, you know. But uh, the, like I said, with, with the motorcycles, I'm just curious. You know, I, I, it's really hard for us diehard, um, you know, Harley enthusiasts to really think about the Indian. Um but it is players. They've got a lot of money that they're pumping into it. I know that. Uh, I'm, I'm just curious. You know, I love I love my road glide. But, I mean, what's it going to hurt if we go down there and ride it and see what it's about? We'll make a video on it. It'll be kind of cool. Yeah. And we'll just give them our thoughts. We may argue. But then again, we may argue. Well, that's just ways. like um, Verizon could give me an Android, but I'm still going to use my iPhone. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah, that's another good comparison out right there. Well, yeah, Apple has it kind of, yeah, it is. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. We'll see what it's all about. Yeah. You got any questions? Who knows? Who knows? So, anyway, yeah. I just wanted to bring that up because I want to put stuff on the spot. Good it, topics. We talked about it. Good topics. Um, <coughs> let's see here. Oh, someone is all the love in the air, just like the Instagram post earlier. Cute pink, pink undies, TJ. Yeah. Yeah, I, that's something I, I do kind of want to touch on. Thanks for being um, gracious about that post. I didn't have anybody just absolutely rip me apart. Of um, course, a lot of people yeah. are like, where is the honor squall whenever you're doing these things, like posting these pictures? One person caught on earlier, and I'm sure all of you guys know, but I'm the one that's like behind the camera making him do this shit. So... Yeah, we had a lot of fun doing it, too. Um, and, of course, it's, like, freezing outside, and I'm like, you should totally take off everything. Wear your pink pink underwear and stand on your bike. So, yeah. 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 And we'd had this for a while now, sitting on it, waiting for Valentine's Day. And I knew the picture. I was like, 
<clears throat> yeah, that's kind of funny because we had some buddies like they woke us up real early one morning. I like opened the door and I had those underwear on and they made fun of me forever. So it's a little bit of an inside joke as well. And Steph was just like, I've got the picture. I'll make a pose. And then she actually came up with a wording. She kind of told me and I just didn't think about it. Well, today she posted it and then I read it and I laughed my ass off. But you know, some people could take that the wrong way, but honestly, the joke's on me. It's just all in good fun. We absolutely love it. It was a lot, of, a lot fun. of fun. It was a fun post. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, yes, down in Pensacola. You're in Pensacola. Um, B. John, the, that may be one, <coughs> that may be your last name, so I'm not going to like butcher it and I apologize. Um, he said he's in Pensacola, would love to catch up, ride with us. Yes. Mm. I think it would be great. Anybody that's down in there, let's meet up. Um, yeah, so along the way, if things change, like I said, we'll be posting. Um, you'll pretty much be able to stay up with us at any point. Um, Mike, it's good to see you. Good to hear from you. You guys have a good night, too, and tell Miss Laura hello for us. Yeah. Oh, I want to show this off. Steph got some stickers. Check them out. You see that? It's pretty cool. I thought they were kind of cool. She got those in today. Yeah. Little Honor Squall stickers. Speaking of that, we have special stickers coming for just the members, too. So. Yeah, they're not here yet. All of you, all of you members. Oh, and we have something really exciting to tell you, members. Um, we'll tell everyone here in a couple of days. But we'll, we need to send a message out to the members. Well, what is it? Do I even know? Yeah. Oh, some... oh, God. Yeah. I forgot about that. We do have some kind of cool. I don't know how I forgot about that. I don't know how it's you did well, either. It's been a lot going on. Yeah, this is really cool. Uh, a lot of people have mentioned this um, and said something about it. And so it's Here's going to a be hint. taken care of. Here's well, a hint. You're just going to give it away. No, here's a hint. <clears throat> How many posts ago was it? Our Instagram post. Sorry, guys. I have to look it up. She got to look it up. Three Instagram posts ago. Three of them. Something to do with that post. Yeah. Yeah, so that is going to make a big difference, too. It's going to be uh, neat to see. How it all turns out. Um, and, yeah, we're going to be also talking about the raw helmets, too. Uh, really eager to see how they do out on the road and how they perform. Uh, we'll be getting in, of course, all kind of weather. Um, really looking forward to that. I got Steph hooked up with her on her helmet last week with a new Senna product that they came out with. They Well, it ain't really out on the market yet. We're, she got a new unit. I got a new unit. We're really testing these things out right now. We'll be talking about those as well. Um, communication system. We'll also be running our Evos from Cinna. Uh, that's something else that <clears throat> this month we'll be giving away a Cinna product uh, for a giveaway. So if you're a member um, and we put your name in a bucket and we do the reverse drawing and whoever's last drawn, they'll win it. So we give away something every month here on the honoring one yes just to show our appreciation yes so um what's it from newport good to see you from newport yes we will be going to sturgis this year i'm going to catch up on all these comments real quick um we are going to sturgis this year and bill turner do you know what the word squaw means yes there's a lot of controversy about the term squaw i was wondering what if it anybody means. was gonna we actually talked about that quite mm -hmm. a bit uh, she is Indian, and we we were wondering if it would. The so for us, it doesn't. It's not negative. It's not a negative word for us. Right. Although it may mean that to a lot of people, just like if yeah. you call me redneck, um, some people get pissed off about that, or call me hillbilly. Um, it does have some derogatory means to it. Uh, that's not what we're meaning, and it is, yeah. you know, she calls me. And, I mean, if it did, I'm calling <clears throat> myself that, so. 
I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we do. We had it. We really we had a discussion about that. We did. It was really, um, Joe. Welcome to the members. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, and I'm glad to see you here. Um, we we talked about it for for a while whether or not we should go with it. I I love the I love the the word squall. Yeah, it's pretty. I think, mm -hmm. but exactly. um, you know, I get it. Uh, I get it. We also we also talked about Yazi. Uh, we love the word Yazi too. Yazi is an Indian name for yeah. little one. Pretty little one. Pretty little one. Yeah, I'm not little. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, I do. Uh, with saying that though, I do. I, I want to take this minute and I want to say congratulations to Steph because the last week and a half here. She's been really watching the sugar intake, like really working on this. And I think she's down like 11 pounds now. Yeah. She's dropped like 11 pounds. So that's really cool. Because, um, you know, whenever I get on that bike, I've already made it up in my head um, because I haven't had sugar in like two weeks or whatever. Now, okay. when we get on the bike and we go eat for the first time, probably at Waffle House around Conway, I'm having pancakes. <laughs> Are you really? The Huddle House. Yeah, the Huddle House. The Huddle House. Yeah. 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 So I just want to say that she's been working really hard and it's cool to say it. I'm proud of you. She's yeah. back into the reading now. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I was. Um, Bill, you said it's a derogatory word for a part of a female anatomy. Um, I've read a little bit about that, but that wasn't the most of the um, history that I read about it. But I'm not saying that that's not what it is, just not what I've read about it. But I think everyone can have their different take on it. And there's um, there's a few different meanings out there for it. But anyways. if it offends you, we apologize, but we're not changing it. Thank you. Yeah. We yeah. appreciate that. Um, Let's see. My house huddle. <laughs> well, Chris, um, do you have pancakes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't like pancakes. I know. He's not a pancake person. Yeah, I'm not. I could eat. Oh my gosh. I like pancakes. I like waffles too. Yeah. I like French toast also. Not so much though, but French toast is good too. Yeah. Okay. Bill, thank you. You said no offense. I appreciate that. I'm so glad cool. I, because nothing that we say or do is intentional to hurt anybody um, at all. I mean, that's not our intentions. No, at all. it's just our personalities. We're this is just who we are. Kind of in your face, kind of blah 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 kind of person yeah people. and we, we've been talking about this a lot too like uh just <laughs> what is it chris reed pancakes are nasty no well, <laughs> so i totally agree what's your address i'm shipping you some pancakes God, i hate them man <laughs> um, oh, just do we have like an appropriate pancakes. date for perdido visit uh we're gonna look that up uh we have yeah. a little plan right here we have everything right now now this is what we're aiming for Yes, if we leave out of New Orleans that Friday, then we're going to probably stay um, Ocean Springs that Friday night, Saturday night, Perdido Key. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So we're kind of, that's our goal. Um, and we're going to try to stick to it. Like I said, we'll be posting along the way. You'll be able to see uh, each Friday night we'll be going live. Um and it may be a really crazy live feed too. I don't know what's going to take place where we're at on what Friday night, what's going on. So we'll be going live and you guys can catch up then. Um, really looking forward to it. I know that. Where are you after there, honey? I just want to see her logo back there. Oh, you do? She's going through my phone. Oh, custom dynamics. I am. Is. I am. Um, someone wanted to just know what days are we're going to be in Sturgis. So this is kind of um, this is kind of tricky too. Sturgis is two weeks long. We are going to aim for the first week of Sturgis because we want to get back to the Ozark for a Root. birthplace of the Route 66 festival in Springfield, Missouri, mm. and that is the um, the second weekend that Sturgis is going to be happening. So head up stay probably a whole entire week or so at Sturge's head back so that we can, we can catch. The, yeah. That. We, we really wanted to get back next year. They're going to change it. So route 66 is going to be uh, like a week after the last week of uh, Sturge's. So there won't be that conflict next year. Um, 
And we've got some more stuff coming up too. I mean, we'll be uh, Arizona Bike Week. We'll be down at Still Horse Rally there in Fayette, uh, Fort Smith, a great rally. And then we'll be, of course, uh, Bike Blues and Barbecue in Fayetteville, Sturges. Um, and we've got some more too. I'm trying to think off the top of my head that, that we, we have a schedule. You can look at our schedule, the 2020 ride schedule. Yes, our schedule is on our YouTube, oh, sorry, Instagram. So on our Instagram page, whenever you go to our profile, there's our little highlight stories across there. There is one for just the 2020 riding season, and it has calendars with some of the major dates written into those. That's pretty much set in stone. Those, is it on a website as well? We it's on the account? website. Yeah. Yes. Um, so Instagram and our website. Um, someone asked, where are when are we coming through Mississippi to Jackson? Oh, where are we coming through Mississippi to Jackson? So we're going to be actually heading down, probably crossover around Lake Providence. Um, is it Lake Providence? I'm looking. It's that really cool little town that we always go yeah. through. That's yeah, which it doesn't show here all the towns. That's where we'll be going through, though. There's another way we can go down south where we'll be cutting over to the east. So we should be coming through there. Yeah. So. Um, yeah, just probably right outside of Jackson is where we're gonna stay, of course, because it's like it's it's always it's always cheaper. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay, and John, thank you for bringing that up. Um, so he wanted to know when the Mexico trip is going to be. So we've talked about that. Um, actually, October is when we kind of first started talking about it. We reached out to Shade Tree. Shade Tree Surgeon is on board. Um, so that was something that we wanted to have happen. Yeah. And we, we also have a couple of buddies well, between two wheels podcast. Yes. Johnny roadblock and uncle Ken, they were kind of interested as well. If you guys are into podcasts to look up between two wheels, they have a great podcast. Too. Yeah. And they have a podcast talking to Steph and I, and they kind of break down. They ask us a lot of fucked up questions. <laughs> um, so we really get into, we get a little bit honoring. And I talked my mind there a little bit more than usual, I guess, because I was with buddies and I just kind of spouted out. I was tired too. We drove and mm -hmm. it's hot. Um, <clears throat> so back to the Mexico truck, we're still talking about it. Logistically, we're looking at that. We're looking how far we're trying to, I'm trying to put a, some people together that will get along and um, we'll make good content. Uh, Everybody that kind of rides the same can ride this, you know, that everybody kind of flows together. Um, and we're talking about money, 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 because we get down there, we have, to have a backup plan because who knows what the hell is going to happen. Um, I have some people that follow us that are from down there. Um, I have some people up in the States that have been down there. Uh, Grim Park Company. Uh, Grand Parks and boys have been down in there and I've heard great stories. They had a great time. Um, actually, they were kind of interested as well. Uh, when, I mean, really, it, we've got all this planned out this year. We have to be certain places. If the money was just there and we have the time, if I have the time, I'm gone. I would. I, I need a partner. I need a couple people to ride with me that I trust. Um, Steph doesn't know if she's going to go. We're still talking about that as well. Yeah. Um, and just to be honest, um, when we were planning this early fall, <coughs> late summer, this past 2019, there was a lot of stuff going on in Mexico that I didn't actually feel comfortable with, um, especially as a female and um, or just as a scared cat. So <laughs> I wasn't for sure if I wanted to go or not. Um and John, I will email you. I appreciate that. Um, but with a certain group of people and contacts that I'd like to reach out to, because of course I want to reach out to um, Mexico as far as tourism, the tourism. There, there's also like, I'm not exactly sure now, I'm kind of starting, I forgot maybe, but there's eight Harley Davidson dealerships down through there. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about kind of hitting down to there. Uh, what I, my first thoughts when I reached out to Shaper, I was talking about Mexico City and their past somewhat, at least. Um, 
I don't know. You know, like I said, I really, I think about it all the fucking time. I really do. I want to ride down in there. I, I just, I want it pretty bad. I've got the bike to do it. I've got, I'm, I'm feeling good. And we're talking about, I'm not for sure. Some of you guys may not know what we're talking about. And um, we talked, we brought this up, you know, like I said, last, um, end of last riding season, but wanting to go deep down South Mexico, um, not as far as like along the coast of Mexico where there's a lot of tourism, but yeah, deep about, down yeah. South in the heart of, heart of Mexico yeah. there's a lot of things happening I know we talked to one person that would be willing to join us and kind of document some of the issues and stuff that's going on I don't know how safe that would be though but I think it'd be a great yeah, idea yeah so we've talked a lot and we've we want to do something good while we do it you know what I mean because basically I mean if it wasn't for doing good what's the point uh, but with being good there's also bad out there so We've looked into a lot of stuff and we can look into a shit ton more, but right now we're really concentrated on getting a riding season going and doing what we're committed to and uh, do that. Um, but honestly, it'd probably be fall now. You know I mean? I, I want it really bad though. Well, we're going to see what happens. Maybe, uh, maybe that money will come. We'll see. Now it's got me thinking about it so much. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Hello, man with the exceptional beard. Yeah, just, I don't know. It doesn't flow the way I want it today. It's just a bad beard Valentine's Day. It does whatever it wants to. You know how you get a big full beard, right? Don't shave her neck. That's where the good fullness and length comes from. Yeah, sorry about that. That was just a bunch of a lot of people are on the same page. A lot of people are on the same page with you. So yeah, yeah. it's one of those. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. Yeah, it's all up in the air. But yeah, it's something that we have not forgotten about. We have not stopped planning. Um, yeah, it's going to be, of course, because it requires a passport. It requires more mileage, different currency. It requires a backup plan. A lot more stuff goes into the planning and logistics of a trip to Mexico or a ride through there than it does a established rally and setting up a pay for event, stuff I mean, like it, that. So it's yeah, just it's just taking us a little bit, a little bit longer. <clears throat> but um, Chris Reed said, "At least you can grow a beard." I'm 43 and have never been able to grow one. Man, my papa, he was. Indian. He was Cherokee and he didn't have to shave at all. He was slick face. And I always thought that was so cool. He just, he just was always so clean. Looked so neat. Uh, and then, um, I just got tired of shaving, you know, uh, Steph likes beards. Uh, and, and a little bit of backstory behind the beard is it's been, six almost seven years ago now that we about lost Steph to a brain tumor she had a brain tumor in her fourth ventricle which was on her spinal cord which was cutting off the flow of fluid and she was dying uh we found out real on a thursday she had emergency brain surgery on a monday and through that weekend we had to tell the kids and we had to deal with all this shit and just coming to terms she had a 50 50 chance of living it was just massive overwhelming experience and we were just sitting around one night and I had a little bit of a beer and, I, and she was just playing with it and I was and she loved them you know and I was like honey if you pull through this I will not cut my beard anymore so of course she's pulled through it thank God she's here today and this is the result I just kept my word I back in the day about that time though I also had long hair like I found a picture the other day my hair was as long as my beard is, and it was down to my nipples. Um, so I had really long hair as well. Um, and then I had the beard, and actually we went down to New Orleans for a weekend. <laughs> and yeah, we, it was actually around Mardi Gras when we went it, down there. It time. was. It was crazy as bat shit out there. We went in, we tucked into a bar, we got a couple of drinks, and this 
chick, she was probably in her 50s. And now going on like days before this, we'd been having comments and or he'd been having comments and of course people looking at him all the time. Yeah, just more than usual. And but then we figured out that Willie Robertson with Doug Dynasty was down there doing a the book signing. Well, these people, I just they just thought that they seen Willie. This chick was drunk, and I'm pretty sure she thought I was him. Followed me into the bathroom when I was taking a piss, and like walked up behind me. Now, back in the day, or maybe you know, we all think out about some chick just walking up and like nudging you. wasn't cool though. It wasn't on the cool side at all. And uh, of course, she's drunk, and I was standing there pissing. Uh, you know, I had to do my thing, get out of the bathroom, like, what the hell, lady? Uh, pretty lady, you know? And, and um, got away from her. I went back to staff, and I said, listen, I'm going to draw a line here. I'm going to cut this beard or the hair goes. One of the two, because I'm tired of hearing this shit. So, actually, when we got home from that trip, she cut my hair. Yeah. So, I was Good a times. ball of hair, more than this, at one time. Yes. Um, <coughs> so someone had said, if you get near Basilton, I don't know if I pronounced that right or not. Stop by Lucky Bastard Bar. Lucky okay. Bastard Bar. The owner sometimes sometimes rides up into Arizona. That's cool. That's cool as hell. Lucky yeah. bastard. Yeah, and Chris, next time that you see us, um, definitely grab a sticker. We always have stickers with us whenever we are out and about. So if you guys um, haven't purchased a sticker or haven't gotten one from us, if you see us in person, definitely mm -hmm. come up, say hi. We've got stickers on us. And, um, yeah. Yep. And you can find our stickers on the website. Yes. Um, and find our shirts, like we were talking about earlier. All Everything goes to us uh, staying out on the road. Also, you guys, I do want to mention that we've been really thinking about our pay it forward this year. We we're going to put something together somewhere, find that someone that needs a hand up. That's yeah. something that we really do, and that's what really is what it's all about, is doing good and being good to people. Um, that's and, and I just That's what touches our heart. You know, when we're out there riding, you ride your bike, it will get to you because that's what you do. You ride your bike and you clear your head. That's what it's for. And we really, I think about how lucky we are. Like I was just talking about, about losing staff, about the hardships that we all go through and just the day to day nonsense that we have to put up with. And, uh, you know, we feel like we need to do something. We need to get a little, you know, um, just give a little love and do something that, that, you know, help somebody and to pay it forward. Yeah. And that's a big part of us. And like our pay it forwards are not huge. Um, you know, it's, it's just us. We don't have like a committee or a staff or anything like that. It's just us. So, um, of course we're trying to raise as much money as we can for our pay it forwards. And we want to make sure our pay it forwards are perfect. We want to make sure that, we want to try and do a pay it forward at different rallies each year or a different location each year. So it's, it's take, it takes us a little bit more time than just be like, okay, we're going to do a pay it forward of in Sturges again, or we're, we're going to do another one in Sturges. So we always try and make sure it's a different location. And of course, finding, finding that person in that local community. Right, Cause that's the deal. We ride community to community, place to place. Mm -hmm. And then we have somebody in that community that needs a hand up. Um, and it's hard because once we start putting that into motion, we get all these email, all this stuff. We have to sort through them and, and hear these stories. And guys are they're, they're rough, and we can only pick one. And then you have to weed out the people that are full of shit too, because there's some people that are just it's just crap, straight up shit. Um, so we we go through that process, and, and it does take a toll on us, you know. And um, but in the end. That's what we're wanting to do is just love each other, uh, be positive, uh, and make a positive out of a negative. As you seen last year ago, we had our bike stolen in Daytona. We went live. We worked really hard. We worked through that. Um, we got back up, and we're still rolling. Um, and then that just goes to show 
you know, how we just keep going and we don't stop as we all do. <clears throat> and that's these pay it forwards that we do, man, these people have gone through so much. Uh, it's just amazing what people have to go through. And a lot of these people, they don't reach out for help. They don't know how to reach out for help. Yeah. That's like our pay it forward in Sturges this last year. Um, like the lady that we actually helped, she didn't reach out about what her situation was. She nominated a friend of hers that helped her. Yeah. So it was like in return, I mean, that friend of hers really helped her. And we were like, well, why, what did she do to help you? Like, why, why were you in a situation where you needed that assistance so much? Cause she told us what her friend had done. And um, yeah, it's just one of those things. Like you said, people don't want to reach out for help whenever yeah. they're. And we dug started. into her store and she'd lost her husband. Uh, during a, a, a motorcycle accident, one team I had it just um, tore us up, yeah. um, and it was uh, emotional. It was great. We had a yeah. great moment. And someone asked, um, "Did they ever find your bike?" No. No, it'll be a year coming up. We haven't heard a, a single word from it. We'll have to reopen that case too. They're going to reach out to us, and then we can open that case back mm -hmm. up where they keep continuing. Yeah, you know, insurance did come through. Um, insurance came through about four weeks after the fact. Was it four? I know they told me it was going to be two to three weeks, and I, it was actually a little bit longer because yeah. we were getting to the point where, we're like, okay, we've got to do something. Um, but yeah. yeah. It's, yeah, we honestly yeah. will probably never see it again. There were in that parking lot, like we said, I think there was three more stolen road glides in that same parking lot. One that night, hours, and then another one the yeah. next night, and that's just in that one little parking lot. I think they said there was like sixty or ninety, six or nine. I don't know. Um, total during just that week. Yeah, and I think overall it was a big damn number that was overall stolen yeah. during Daytona Block Week. Crazy, uh, which that happens everywhere. I mean, it ain't, uh, but uh, you know, yeah, what a fucked up deal that was. Um, let's see, Anthony Jones. I have some Indian beads and leather craft art craft stuff I'd like to donate to Steph if she would take it. Hell yeah, <laughs> I am like super artsy fartsy if you guys didn't know this or not. But no, well, I mean, that's yeah, that's cool as hell, man. Thank you, that's yeah, really cool. That'd be fun, yeah, that'd be um, awesome. That's yeah. what she does. You know, like we we're saying, elements of the Oso. She makes jewelry. You can find that on Nancy and you kind of nose around and see what she's done. She stays hooked up. I yeah. actually bought her a set of stamps so she she can stamp stuff. Um, she's wanting a fork bracelet, so I made her a fork bracelet. Then a ring out of um, some a spoon or a fork. Well, my grandmother gave me her <coughs> spoon ring. Um, made out of a real spoon, not like the Avon like replicas. It was a real spoon made into a ring, and she gave it to me. And unfortunately, I lost it. Um, this has probably been about eight years now, and I have no idea, no clue. Um, it breaks my heart too because I freaking loved it. But anyway, so yeah, TJ bought me some stuff, and I wanted a spoon ring, and um. Of course, it couldn't replace the one that my grandmother gave me, but he's like, I can make you one. And then I was like, well, how did you do that? And then got, yeah. Yeah. It so, went from there. Yeah. And it really did because I showed her how to do it and I borrowed some stamps. And then she started doing this stuff. And she's like, you know, I've seen this Etsy. I, I think I'm going to open that shop up now. I was like, what the hell is Etsy? And thanks to Pinterest. And Pinterest. <laughs> Holy shit, Pinterest. Ugh. Uh, yeah. But anyway. She did this, and that's what she does now. We've got this little bitty storage building that we redone behind our house here, and we done it up for her, and it's her, like her little studio. And she just in her, we built her a table, and she's got her uh, anvil and her vise. She's got a little hand shear over there that we installed and drill press, and uh, she just goes at it all the time. And that's what really keeps us going is working on Etsy stuff. Yeah. She really stays at it. It's a lot of fun. And then you guys, of course, uh, uh, you know, fall on us. And, uh, yes. And I've had a lot of you guys order stuff from Elements of the Old Soul. And cool. I can't tell you how much I appreciate that because really people's asked this, asked us this before too. Like, do we work? Well, we don't have a nine to five job that we go work for someone, 
we're working at 24 seven basically. So elements of the old soul, that income that we have. And then of course what TJ's doing with the honorary one and coming live to you guys covering different things, the memberships, you guys keep us on the road. You guys help us pay our bills. You guys help feed us. So yeah. Um, it really is. It's yeah. Crazy. I can't thank you guys enough for ordering my stuff and supporting us in yeah. that way. And it's cool as hell because we'll be out there and she'll say, oh, hell, they're a member. I'm like, no shit. Well, they order, you know, yeah, so we we're after. Stickers and yeah, magazines so we're after in there. But yeah. she has ship ship all, ship ship all over the world, man. I mean, she gets orders. I, I it's, it blows me away the places that she sends mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. We're Joe, you said that your mom makes jewelry and dream catchers. That is so cool. The dream catcher. Man, dream catchers are really um, intricate, too. They get into some really, really yeah, fun, some shit fun stuff. Yeah. Well, um, you'll have to drop me her if she has a Facebook page or if she's on Etsy or anything like that. That would be that would be awesome. I want to check her stuff out. Is there anything that we're forgetting that we want to tell these fine folks on this Friday night that's Valentine's Day? Not really. Um, we're just kind of now. Rambling. Yeah. We're ramblers. Yeah. Someone said, what is your channel about? So if you're just finding us and you're just tuning in. So roughly a rundown. Let me see what this it's, is. It's just really about stuff and I just talking to each other. Sharing moments out on the road. Really? It began. Yeah, he said that he's, or they, she, yeah. he said that he's new there. So, yeah. Yeah. So, it's Steph and I, and it's our life, really, what it's really turning into, what we're doing. Um, we ride a motorcycle, a 2019 Road Glide Special. We ride that thing all over the U.S., just anywhere we want to go. Uh, we ride here and there. Uh, along the way, we're meeting people, showing what we're doing. And like we were saying earlier, we do a pay it forward. So yep. we find people that are in need or a hand up and we help them out. Um, and that all stems from everything that we've gone through. I'm not sure if you've been listening the whole time or not. I had a brain tumor, went through emergency brain surgery. Um, there was a lot of people in our community that stepped up and helped us whenever we were in need. And now that we're in the place that we are now, and we are riding coast to coast and going to these different rallies. It pulls on our hearts to help others just like we were helped. So yeah, we actually to... we were coming back from Sturgis the first time that we'd been mm -hmm. up there and um, we we're riding back. We did a two people, two wheels, two events, 2000. Or was it yeah. 2, so, miles. It was this big story that we did. So it was two people, two wheels, two events on $2,000 for two weeks on two weeks. So our goal was to go to two different events, which was fuel Cleveland and then also Sturgis fuel Cleveland. If you haven't looked into it is a, it's like a builder's paradise, basically old school kind of chopper um, art. Yeah. Art exhibits and it's in Cleveland, Cleveland, Ohio. So we wanted to go to that. And then if, it was like a week before Sturgis and we'd never been to Sturgis. And who wouldn't want to go to Sturges, right? So we were thought, well, how about we try and do both of those? Yeah. So what we did, we came up with this idea. We came up with this two people, two wheels, two events, you know, two weeks on two thousand dollars. I mean, basically mm -hmm. what we did. And what we and in that we only stayed or we stayed in a tent with people that we knew online but never had met that followed us. Yeah. So we set out on that. So what it is, is just showing how you can run and what you get into out on the road. And that's what we did. Yeah. And if you want, you can go back and check, go back and check out our Instagram because we always try for each day. We, we calculated all the mileage and how much we spent in gas and what we spent on food. So we wanted to stay under a hundred dollars a day so that we would have a little bit of a cushion there because we're talking about $2,000 two weeks, which is 14 days. We wanted a little bit of cushion there just in case something did happen. So our goal was to stay under a hundred dollars a day. So and that we, gets really, really difficult. Yeah. If you're planning on staying in hotels, it's bullshit. It's super fucking hard and be Where'd able to drink eating? a couple beers. <laughs> um, anyway, we did it. Um, we did really good. We were coming back from Sturgis, coming back here to the Ozarks, and I had two hundred dollars in my pocket, which is so odd because it's ten percent of what we started out with. And it's two, two people, two wheels, two events, 
two hundred dollars so, left over when we got back. Yeah, so this two just kept popping back up, coming back up to us. And then here's here's the two of us, and I just we were riding through an Indian reservation, and it was out on the outskirts of it, and um, I seen these little Indians. Yeah, uh, they were so Indians. they were little Indian. They they were so pretty, you know. They just got that gorgeous Indian, just the long flown hair. These pretty kids out there playing. They were enjoying life, and then we went through their little town, and it was really ran down, and everybody was just. I just felt so heavy, and they were struggling, and I know they were. The people at the gas station need money, and uh, anyway, it just it started getting to me. And then here we are, we've gone through what we've gone through. People have been generous to us and now we are we're riding. riding and we're getting to see things. And so, so on, on going through there, when we pulled over, we pulled over at a Dairy Queen. We went in and sat down and we were, but I'm just crying. I'm just like, what the hell is going on? You know, could you imagine him crying? So I mean, we, we a, started, we started talking and I was like, listen, Let's take this $200 when we get back home, find somebody that could use it, and let's just give it away. Let's give it yeah. to them. And we said, we'll just pay it forward, give them, you know, a hand up. And when we, we got home, we found uh, this young girl. She was young. I don't know how old she was. So she had some trouble having the, her baby. She was pregnant and it was premature, was premature and she was, they were in the hospital and it was a hard time for them being young. We, we, we went to them. We were able to come up with some food vouchers. We came up with a, a little clothing store for babies. We came up with a voucher from them and a few other things. And it's $200. And we went and we just, we gave it to her. And I was like, you know, it, it, this will make me feel better. This is what I feel like we ought to do. And from there, we just started doing the pay it forward. And then it's gone on to JT down in Paris, helping him out. And then we did Boxwoods and Barbecue, you know. um, Yeah, Sean West over Boxwoods and Barbecue. That's a crazy story. Yeah, it's like someone just said, um, we're covering it all. And and that's right. Our, Our channel is about... Us, we're just normal people. We've gone through some shit. We've had some hard times, and we're trying to just be good and do good. I think someone had men- mentioned that earlier. You know, um, I think Donnie actually said that. But um, yeah, so yeah, we're just kind of covering it all because you know, and another a lot thing, of thickness to it. Another thing with us, I don't want no fucking ego. Um, I'm sick of it. Uh, uh, we all carry a little ego. It's just who we are. It's our attitude. I get that. But at the end of the day, well, the only thing we have left, as corny as it may sound, is love. And um, yeah, cue the tears. <laughs> <laughs> so we are just we're riding this damn bike around, enjoying everybody. And it's just started, and, and it's just going now. And I'm just loving life. Um, we're extremely happy. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Okay. The name that I could not pronounce earlier, and I so much apologize. BJ on the BA. Thank you so much. He drive. he rides a, he drives. You drive a triumph. There. Oh, he's got a triumph. <laughs> Bonneville. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. BJ on the BA. I will Bad never ass. forget that. I appreciate that so much. Thanks for saying that because I was not wanting to pronounce it wrong and it be your last name. <laughs> so, sorry. B&B Venture. Good to see you, Max. I'm so glad to see you. Max. There. Yes, I love your little emoji there with the crying ornery face. Butthole. <laughs> <laughs> you know me, man. Uh, that That's was what fun. happens when you let your wife make the emojis. emojis. Yeah, how are you, Max, man? Uh, it'd be good to see you. Uh, I don't know when we're going to catch back up, but uh, it was. Uh, yes, and it was. That was fun. Yeah, was he rode with us down in Paris, Texas. And uh, met, we met, met up with in, us. Little in Little Rock. Yeah. He came down. We met in Little Rock and uh, rode on into Paris. And then he, we just all hung and, and rode. Uh, super cool cat right there. Crap, so. Yeah. Miss you, buddy. Miss you. Yes. You're doing good. That's good to hear. I'm glad to hear that. Good, man. Yes. Um, someone asked, how are you, Dumbledore? Um. Dumbledore. Oh. I don't know. Thou shall not pass. Oh. Okay, I got you. 
Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Is that what that is? Well, I'm guessing, you know, that's <laughs> the thing with text and uh, you don't hear a person's voice and you're just kind of guessing at what they're saying. Casey, they, it's so good to see you. You never know, you know. Thanks for chiming in and watching. <laughs> doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Yeah. Well. All right. Well, this is going on a little over two hours. I know it's Valentine's shit. Day. Um, happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for spending the evening with us. Um, if you guys are single, enjoy the day. I love you. The honorary one loves you. And um, if you are with your loved one, enjoy it and just um, soak it all up. Soak all the goodness in. Yep. Maybe somebody out there tonight will get somebody pregnant. No. 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 Oh, that'd be pure love. I mean, to create be. somebody else. Oh, Adam and Olivia, it's so good to see you. And the baby says hi. So <laughs> I can't wait to see you guys. Um, we had so much fun in um, Little Sturges in Kentucky. And I appreciate you guys sharing your tent space with us, letting us crash there, hang out, getting to know you guys. It yeah, was, she couldn't drink because she was pregnant. I know. But little um, Sturges, guys. Holy little Sturges shit. was a fun little rally, and it was. Oh my god, we got. A, it was a very the, adult. We got a video on that too. You can go check out. It'll probably it might offend you. There might be yeah. something in there. We couldn't even put a quarter, and we probably got half the shit that we recorded in there. But it got it was crazy. Looking forward to this coming year too. That's something else we didn't talk about earlier. It's hot as hell though, guys. I mean, yeah, you little ride Sturges. Yeah, Little Sturges is what, in the middle of July? Was it July? Or August. I don't um, know. It's hot as hell. But I had so hot. much fun. They just, like, we'd never met them before. They were like, hey, we got a campground. You can come stay here. So I was like, all right, cool. So we rolled up there, pitched our tent, hung out there on the side of the little roads that they got through the campground. Mid July. It's Thank you, Brandy. Mid July. Brandy Thank was you. another one that was there. So glad to meet Brandy. you guys, too. <laughs> yeah, a whole. Friends good, for life. A whole good cast of folks right there. Like I said, we pitched the tent. Uh, sit there just in in the you know lawn chairs and shit. Watch the show go by. It's private property, so the shit gets crazy as hell. Um, seen some shit that I'll never forget. Mm -hmm. uh, John Porter, you said you're playing on tending Little Sturges. Oh, right on, man. Yes, super cool. You'll you'll it's you have an open mind. Just have <laughs> an open mind. That's all I gotta say. I, well, I got a lot to say actually. I'm sure you guys can see these comments. Um, I am typing to some of them, especially here to Jennifer. Um, if you guys don't know, Jennifer is deaf. So if you see me reply to her a lot more often than some other people, I it's no offense at all. I just try and keep her in the loop. But she said, holy shit, I left my phone and you guys are still going. <laughs> yeah, still going. That's what she said. I want to tell you something else. You've done really well. Uh, she's lost a lot of weight. Um, she's been working her ass off. Yeah. Every she's, time I get on Facebook, Jennifer is at the gym, grinding it, getting after it. Yep. She's yeah. lost a lot of weight. Proud of you. Yes. Good for you. Good, good, good. We met her down in Paris too, riding that motorcycle. Um, uh, and like she said, Steph said, she's, uh, she, she, can she hear a little bit or none at all? I don't think she can hear at all. Wow. I don't think that she can hear at all. That's something I should ask her because. Because we communicated great, you know. I mean, we met her and I was like, wow, super yeah. badass. I think she does rely, rely on a lot of reading lips and stuff like that. Which is really hard with me. I know that's the truth. Yeah, I'm proud of her. She's lost a lot of weight. Yeah. Good for you. Um, Let's see. Some other people that asked about um, Laconia. Uh, Myrtle Beach, um, Hog Rock, um, Cripple Creek. I've seen all those things. Those We've heard about um, Cripple Creek a lot, actually, last year. We haven't been to it. We haven't been to Hog Rock. We haven't been to Laconia, but it is in our sights for this year. If everything works out, um, uh, we would like to attend it. The one in Florida, which one was that? You said, I think in it's, Florida. Yeah, I think, I think Myrtle, it's Beach. Myrtle Beach. That's May. I believe, sure. and I think we have our Otis graduating from college right about yes. that time. So that yes. we will not make. Yeah, we'll if it's be the same that. time frame. I think it may be. We're going to skip out on that one. Yes. So. Because yes. that's a big milestone. 
in closing, guys, I know you guys surely got something else better to do mm -hmm. than listen to us. Ramble. All 95 of you guys. Um, I do ask you to come and uh, be a part of our venture of the whole year. Uh, like I said, we're going to be kicking it off next Friday. We'll be heading out and then to uh, uh, New Orleans and then cutting across the Gulf all the way over to Daytona for Daytona Bike Week and then coming back up home here to the Ozarks. We ask you to join along, be part of our adventure. We would love it. We want to hear what you got to say, and uh, maybe you'll definitely uh, guide us in the right direction of somewhere good to eat or something to get into. Um, yes. You never know. We may need help out on, on the road. That's what it's all about, community and helping each other. And, and uh, we're looking forward to meeting each and every one of you. I hope we get to see you out there. Um, we'll be posting where we're going to be, you know, better like location and what time as we're out on the road. Uh, every Friday night we'll be coming to you live. It'll be on location, so I'm sure it'll be crazy as shit. Yeah, and speaking of that, I, I want to say this. Um Whenever we are live on location, sometimes I have to use our phone to go live. And mm -hmm. that is very difficult because you can't see the comments. The comments come up, but you can't really type because, of course, your screen's this big. Comment and then your keyboard. So it's very difficult to, to stay in contact with the um, comments and making sure you read them and stuff like that. So if I miss y'all's comment, forgive me. Yes. And but it's our goal to try and go live with you guys every Friday. If yes. It's possible. And then Steph's going to be turning out videos as well. Our last video was on legend shocks. The number two, we had a part one and part two, and we talked about, we got the Revo a we put on and you can see my and Steph's reaction right when we were, you know, rolled on the bike right after we uh, installed them. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty cool little video. The next video that she'll be doing will be on um, custom dynamic lighting. And then we're going to be putting videos together. Uh, we're going to try to do a couple while we're out on the road. That's where we're cutting down the mileage so we can stay somewhere. So Steph can do some editing and get a video out. Although it may be just a five or six, seven minute video. It'll show you kind of what we've been into and what we've been doing. And like we said, also, every Friday night we'll be coming to you live wherever we may be. Yes. And Brandy, you said that you're going to be in, the, in Eureka Springs this year. So I can't wait to see you. And awesome. if anybody comes to the Ozarks, especially Eureka Springs in the area and stuff, you guys better let us know because we love Eureka Springs. We love it here in the Ozarks. And if we are home during that time, we will definitely try and meet up or show you guys some rides some roads, where to eat, all that good stuff. Yeah. We Any excuse beer. to go over to Eureka Springs. Absolutely. We have a lot I'm of friends home. over there, too. We have a good time. Now let's kind of get away a little bit more over there. Yes. Get a little yes. bit more on there. Um, one other thing before we sign out, though, um, I told Woody earlier, shirts, if you guys had ordered any shirts from us or um, shirts that we owe you guys as far as for Patreon, the members after three months, um, we would give you guys a shirt. So I just want you to guys know I have not forgot about you guys. We do screen print those by hand. Um, we do that like every two to three weeks. And it is a process. So with us being on the road and back, it's a little bit slower of, a, of an ordeal before I can get them done and shipped. So I do apologize for the delay. But, yeah. You'll definitely get Just them. We throwing that out there. Yeah. Yeah. We have a lot of fun um, doing that as well. I was out there today ironing a lot of shirts because you got to set it after you print them. they got to set for a while. Then you got to iron them, let them set. And then you have to cure them. Cure them. you got to do the cure aid. Cure aid. Yeah. The Keurig. Yeah. I got Keurig, the shirts. Yeah, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in and being a part of this live stream here on the YouTube at the yes. Honorary One channel. It means a lot to Steph and I. Without you guys, we wouldn't be doing it. We'd just be, well, we'd be riding a motorcycle. But it's so much more fun to be showing you guys what we're into. Plus, we have you guys involved. Yeah. It's a cool thing. Yes. Thank you guys. Some oh yes, Jennifer. Before we sign out, yes, you need a smaller size honorary one shirt now because you've lost a lot of weight. You're looking great. You're doing great in the gym, and I'm proud of you. Good girl. Proud yes. of you. Way yes. to go. All right, guys. We are going to sign off now officially. We promise you, we're not going to start rambling. I'm going to stop right now. Um, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you guys for watching. If you have not subscribed yet, make sure that you do hit the subscribe button and there's a notification so that you're notified for any videos that we release. 
And um, we'd love to have you guys as a member. Also, we've got three different tiers you can check out. Yeah, definitely. And they have perks along with them. Um, like we said, every month we give away something. This month we'll be giving away a cool Senna product. That definitely, I know you guys can use. Uh, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you next Friday. We'll be somewhere down in Mississippi. Looking forward to seeing you guys next week. Thanks a lot, guys. Y'all stay honored.